Yo, is this? Welcome to the Stoney's Bud Show. I got a guest right here that I'm so stoked to have in the booth. You are at the Boarding House Podcast Studio, and we got Nate Bozong here. What, ca- what camera am I looking at? All of them. That's your camera right there. Okay, we got it. This guy right there. What up, That's you. Is? Nate Bozong, though, if you're not familiar, um, we did interview Nate at the bomb hole. Do you know what episode that was? Do you know what number? I have no idea. I don't know what number, but if you go to the bomb hole, there is a uh, episode on Nate Bozong where you can get his full story. This is more of just a uh, catch up with him, see how he's been doing. It's been about two years since we did the interview. But a quick summary, this guy has uh, one of the few snowboarders to become a multi-millionaire from his snowboarding. It was kind of fashion related because it was... Uh, we spent uh, that shit quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he, multi-millionaire to a multi-not-millionaire, up and down, peaks and valleys. Uh, this guy's done it, though, man. He's owned brands. He started a board company, filmed videos. He was sponsored part of the Forum Crew, which is uh, no joke. He was like the next dude on deck, right? Yeah, I was... Uh, suppo- I don't know what I was. There was but you, were, you were there. You were poised yeah, to I be was, uh, the Forum Ninth. The, the unofficial, yeah. Like <laughs> he was the unofficial ninth, ninth yeah, right the here. Ninth. <laughs> But he's, uh, he's done it. He's Nate Bozong. He is a legend in snowboarding and uh, just in life, man. Stoked to catch up. Stoked to have you here. How you doing, big dog? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me, bro. Dude, so you good know? to have you here. Good to get out of the mountains and come down to the city and get a little socializing. You city know? life, dude. Kind of sketchy when you've been up in the mountains, huh? Yeah, but I mean, not really. I mean, it's just, there's just a lot of people. A lot of people, there, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people out there. Let's, just, let's paint a picture of like your, your where, you, where you're living now Because I, I don't really know But I hit you up You were snowed in for some days You couldn't even come here uh, I'm up in the mountains, bro Where we where we should be So we're up in like um, I've been up in the high Uintas So working at this place Riverbend Ranch What up, Thomas? I want to give a shout out to Thomas Vinny, What up? That's Burnside wild. Yeah, we got the horns Loud but, uh, horn right there yeah, we've just been, uh, this dude is making a, like a private, <coughs> for him and his buddies, like a private resort kind of thing. It's kind of like Park City Powder Cats. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so I, I just kind of fell into does he, this. Does he have lodging for the people that have come through? It's, all, it's, day, still, it's day still new. It's still in the beginning phases, so it's going to be like a nice little, He's. I mean, from what I hear, there's going to be like little huts that they can like rent and stuff. Oh, sick, like, like single yurt style. Yeah, kind of like Airbnb stuff. I mean, I don't really know, but it's pretty cool because I got in chainsaw and like doing pretty much we're just designing the runs, you know, on this dude's mountain. Did so. they give you an outline or are you guys just doing your we, thing? Well, because we were already riding it before with my boy Andy and then this year. Yeah, what up, Berkside? And, uh, and Connor and then um, yeah, he just kind of hired us because we already wrote it. And he, the dude just bought the land, and yeah, we just been. You already kind of know the runs, but it's like if you, you kind of know you, from where the the mountain flows. Is that like sh- where, yeah, as the you, ball rolls? Exactly. Like I mean, if you says. shred, you're gonna look down the mountain and be like, "What's the best way you're gonna go?" And that's gonna be the first line you cut. You know what and I you mean? Just so chainsaw down and make all runs. day long. Yeah, it's fucking funny shit, dude. Do you guys get to name them and like? He wants us to name some Dude. of the runs, but we've only named like three runs so far. These like, nuts! Like you got anything? Uh, going? No, like, I, I haven't even named. Like I kind of was leaning on like Bozrek Alley Dude, or something. That was great. But... Your name is just great to involve in. At least you got to have at least one. I'd say two or three personally. <laughs> one. I mean, how yeah, many runs are there going to be? They're, we're shooting for twenty. So Dude, right I'd now, I'd say three with your name and attached. Let's. I go. mean, it's it's just up to the boss. You know what I mean? So. You know, I'm Dude. just, I'm just, I just fucking shred the runs and cut them in the summer, you know? Bozrek Alley. Bozrek Alley. I was singing to that or like I wanted to do some like Soho or just some, I don't know. Dude, I bet you're a very creative it's, person, dude. I bet you'd come up with the sickest names. But it's names. not all. It's not all me. He kind of wants to give me some creative stuff, but it's just up to them because yeah. it's still all the beginning phases, you know? So early. We're just kind of testing it out, you know? Did he say when they want to open that kind of thing? I mean, he's already had buddies out. Like he just left. I've never met the dude, but supposedly he 
he's stoked on it, you know, because we had to stop. We didn't get anywhere near to what we could have got done. Yeah. But uh, so he's he hyped. just rode the runs for the first time. So yeah, and he's hyped, you know. So well, you got a snow cat up there? He's got a snow cat and there's snowmobiles and like the side by sides with the tracks on it. Dude. So they all have all the toys. You know what I mean? Everyone up there has got all the toys and. How did you shows. fall into this? <laughs> like, how, how did you? I, how many folks all get here? <laughs> I was up in Montana. First, I was in Idaho. So after I talked to you guys, okay, you left our studio. I remember you were headed to peel potatoes or something. Yeah, I went up to do potatoes. I hung out with <laughs> what up, Josh, Vista Valley, what what. So we went up there. <laughs> yeah. I went up there, and yeah, it was just I was. I look back on it, and I'm like, I was just kind of driving around with. Like a chicken with its head cut off, kind of. Dude, you, know you what left I mean? us like, in, a, in a rough state. You just lost your mom. Yeah, and I just You're drove from man. New York. Yeah, yeah, I was a little emotional. Like losing a family member is pretty tough. You well, know, your mom, dude, that's the hardest. That's a, that's yeah, the, it's the, the top. You know, I you, like we were talking earlier. Like I still miss her every day, but yeah. it's it's more of like you just learn to. I don't wish it upon anyone, but it's like a. So we all I was definitely in a weird place, but you know we're good. We keep it trucking. Yeah, we keep it. Uh, when you also kind of didn't know your destination let's say it's just a weird it's yeah everything just it was crazy but yeah. you know we keep it tracking we just keep it shredding thanks to my friends like tanner and melissa let me stay up there and josh and idaho and like i've just kind of been trying to find my way and have you know people I mean? to bounce off of like that that's awesome dude yeah it's cool taking but, you in and let you figure your shit out and uh so tanner's never up in montana so i was up there and there was a point he's never there so i'm in the up by canada right and my car broke down canada so, all the way up there. I was 50, 50 miles from Canada. And uh Damn son. I didn't see a human for four months, bro. I was just sitting what? on his I was just sitting on his driveway in my Jeep, like walking around, hunting stuff. Like You were broken down for four months? Four months, yeah. And then homie wasn't there. So I was How just, did you just, eat? Well, thank God for Darla. Darla, what up? Thanks, Darla. She Tanner Tanner's mom finally came through because I ran out of food and then she came through and brought me some food. You were you were like And I was like, you brought I'm food, so you knew. Well, I had food before, prepared. but I was prepared. But I mean, after a month, you kind of run out. So like, you're a month you with, and your dog with you. I had my dog, but the thing is, is my I lost my wheels, so like, oh, man. I couldn't drive to get yeah, anything. You couldn't new. go get. Food. It's not like you're in the city and you could just There's go no to the <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, the fucking Ubers didn't even go out to where yeah. he was. So, damn, dude. I came out of there. My boy Bergside, he uh, he's like, "Yo, come down," and that's where I've been kind of lurking around because I broke down. Darla got you set up though. She got your wheels going or helped got you well, to a place where you could do it. Thanks to my dad. My dad, I still owe my dad. So what up, dad? I, hey, owe, daddy you for, I owe you for that Jeep, bro. But uh, <laughs> that's why we're trying to sell some goggles and t- and some. We'll, we'll let here, you, know you know as we go out some projects Bozong's got going on because he just laced me that with some sunglasses that are dope. We'll, we'll Gucci, grab those next time we take a break. From the Gucci factory, Italy. But, yeah, bro. they're Diamond looking Dawn sick. Sunglasses. What up? Cola. We'll, uh, we'll let y'all know where to where to get those. But he just laced me with a pair and they are dope. So your dad helped you a little bit. So we got out of there. I came back down here, and I just came to visit because I, I kind of didn't know where I was going. I was just gypsy, and then... You're a good-looking gypsy, though, dog. It's a good, right? Good, good I look, mean, honey. it's been that way since 17. Like, mm-hmm. no one... People don't get it. Like, I would go places, and the team would leave, and I would stay until mm-hmm. the country kicked me out. You know, I remember calling you when I wrote Tech Now. I'm like, I remember no, I'm in Australia, yeah, bro. I'm stuck. I'm like, yo, can you uh, afford <laughs> me that money? <laughs> I remember that, dude. You needed to get... You were yeah. no way to get out of there. You stayed behind. Long story short, that story, <laughs> we, you, uh, you put it into Edwina's fucking account, and I guess I got the money, and a year later, like, she called... She's like, yo, I had, like... Australian IRS people showing up. They're like, who's this dude? And that's been living in us. Yeah, dude, it was crazy. They're they were like, like, why is there money for this dude? What's going on? Yeah, who is this fucking gringo in our country? You know, <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they had a, they, customs used to love me all the time, you know? I but, bet, dude, your customs dream. Oh, but I didn't, I never had clothes. They'd be like, why? You've been here like six months, bro. Where, where's all your stuff? And I'm like, I gave it all away. Like, <laughs> I'd have, I'd always just have like a scarf or like a belt. And, and no like, luggage. And no, no luggage. Just everything gave away. Damn. Just a backpack full of stuff. Like, no board. I was like, I ain't bringing this board back. And that's a, such a big red light for them. As, as, a, is as someone even, that, like, is smuggling is, drugs or this, whatever. Yeah, this is before I even had face tattoos, yeah. you know? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Damn, dude. They did, yeah, they didn't like me. But, dude, kids would get stoked. You leave them behind your gear, dude? That's oh, huge. Yeah. That's, like, half the battle, you yeah. know what I mean? These kids are never... If it, if that's why they love you. those countries, it's like... I don't know if the product will even make it there, Facts. you know, so yeah. here you go. And they, they talk about it still, I'm sure, dude. I still remember it to the day when I was sitting in Greece with Maddie, 
What up, Maddie? Home wrecks? You guys, and, that's uh, right. Greece got snow, dude. And you guys shredded yeah, it Greece. Did. It got snow, but I was sitting there, and I remember sitting there. We were like by the Acropolis in this tourist area, and I'm, and this little kid walked by with a Jeff shirt on. I was like, oh fuck, as I was the first time I'd seen it from overseas. Matt, where'd you get it? I have no idea. It was just a tourist kid from yeah. overseas. That was probably from the states. Oh, okay. Shredded, you know. So he just looked Damn, like he was a shredder kid. So I mean, Start seeing your stuff out in a place like that is pretty cool. Huh? And I mean, yeah, it's cool, you know. And I'm, it's, I mean, it's yeah, it's it is cool, you know. And it's, I look back and I'm like, well, how'd that work so much? And it's because I was always traveling at the time, you know. So going I, I was getting like free marketing just for me talking to people. And you, you know? don't even like to say the name complete. Huh? Yeah, no, I say, I, I <laughs> say Jeff. Funny. Bro. I finally I just say, put that together. <laughs> yeah, Jeff. I say Jeff, bro. I don't it's even. So it's like sick, an ex-wife, dude. bro. I don't. We don't talk about that. Yes, I love that. But, uh, dude. Um, why, why pump it up? Yeah. So it worked though because it was funny. It wouldn't work again if you no, did the same thing. It wouldn't no, work. It's wouldn't like work again. everyone always asks that. Like, hey, can I just do? If you meet a rich person, you're like, uh, what did you do? How did you do it? It's just kind of you look back and it just kind of falls in place. Yeah. It's kind of like. You got to do it your way. Yeah. It's kind of like when you meet a chick, it always just works out. But or when, it you, when you, when it doesn't, and yeah. more, if like you try to do something, like it won't work. Yeah. You know, like shit just kind of falls into place. And the same thing will never but, quite work like that again. And you guys just had all the right things come together. But you're right. You were all over the place. You were yeah, at the no, peak that's, of your well, fame. That, that was half the thing because I, I was doing the tour and like yeah. snowboarding 365. So. Everywhere I went, everyone I talked to and hung out with, I was just free promotion, giving away worldwide. And I'm like, think about it now because I'm like, what's what's missing? Like, why can I do it? And I'm like, well, for one, I don't like to really socialize anymore because I kind of quit party. Well, I did quit partying. Yeah, and I just kind of stay away from everyone in the mountains. So I was like, well, so I I took that away, you know. So I'm not out running around like a chicken with my head cut off, promoting, 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 meeting you know, people twenty four seven. Yeah. And so I'm like, so it's like, cause I still like doing the clothes and shit, but it's like, it's not really paying the bills. I'll get like a, a hoodie a month sold, you know, kind of. But after the last one though, the last podcast we did, I was, cause I was still making the hoodies and shit. I got a bunch of orders. Sick, dude. The stuff Probably, is dope. I think it was like five grand worth of shit, and, but Damn. I put all that money in and made snowboards and I made eight boards. Boards are expensive. Yeah, they're expensive. So they cost us, but they're handmade in Colorado by Dave. What up, Billboarder Dave? I'm still trying to make more. Holla. Dude, what? But, they're uh, like a thousand a piece? I sold two for a thousand a piece, yeah. Damn. And the other ones, I, I kept two, I gave, and then I gave three away. Damn. Or dude. two away. My math's were bad, but. At, for And you must have paid what, like five, six hundred? It was five hundred a piece because they're made in Colorado. By Dave, and he he made his own machine and everything. Oh, like, they're really? good, and that's the board yeah. I'm still riding because I refuse to ride. It, you know, I'm like I'm gonna ride it until until the wheels. I can get him to make me off. another one. You know, yeah. like I'm trying to get more made. So damn, dude, and you gave those other three away too. People didn't realize well, what gave, you put into Burke's it. Burkside's got one. So Jordy and James, what up, Jordy and James? They bought the first two for a grand a piece. And that's I don't so think sick. anyone's. Real, I mean, I think there was a Japan company that sold for a grand, but I was yeah. like, yo, that was pretty cool. I got two. Dude, I think that's sick, man. Kate just told me today that she was getting her board. So I made two 162 patterns with this gra- with this graphic on that it. That graphic's right? so sick. And uh, James bought one of them. And then I gave the other one to Kate because she's on it. And she was just getting it shipped to Costa Rica. And I guess it just got lost. No! And I was like, motherfucker, dude. Seriously? So there's only one left now. But dude, a board like that is sitting somewhere in like an airport. That's what I'm saying. Or something. And I've <laughs> wanted to ride that board so fucking bad. Dude. Dude. And I'm like, so I'm probably gonna have to try and buy it back from James if I ever get money again. But maybe they'll give it to you. Well, we're gonna try and collect some insurance on it, I guess. Yes, there is insurance. She's like, she's like, didn't you? So either way, I was like, just I swear say there's it, a just basic say it's ten grand. Yeah. I was like, it's like an art piece. It's like an art uh, painting. It is, you know dude. That's I mean? art. That is art right there. Yeah. Is yeah. Saint Bozrock still still going? Yeah, Bojack's always going. With the Bo- Saint, where it says Saint, you still uh, have that going? Yeah, I still have that. It's just Saint Bojack, Bojack. I made, I, there's no, it's, we're not yeah. in business. We're not at, ever out of business. Dude, when I, I mean? look up your, your shit on Instagram, there's like kids that have part of your handle and it's hard to know you're the yeah, real one or not. Yeah, shit's all over the place, bro. <laughs> and they deleted t- my two main accounts. They so did? How come? I think I was talking too much shit. Really? Yeah. They pin- <laughs> they like, they... <laughs> That's harsh, dude. Well, because it was like, you could, yeah, I was just talking shit on Ukraine and a bunch. It's just, <laughs> oh, with po- the shit going on in po- Ukraine. It was politics stuff, you know, because. Well, so. So we, we try not to be political anymore. So you know, you're, you, you were broken down up north. You driving down. I think that's where we. 
I got fixed, right? Yep. I get it fixed, and I drive all the way to Andy's house, and I break down right when I get to his driveway, and then Damn. it snows, and I'm like, well, bro, because you got a snowmobile up to his house, right? Oh, so okay, you can't. In the I winter. got literally snowed in his house, and I was like, whoa. And we tried to fix my Jeep. Like, dude, he did. I owe that kid so much, dude. Fuck. So pretty much, I ended up staying at his house, and he's got a little snowboard park you on the side. You two were fixing it? What's that? The two of you were fixing it? Yeah, because he, he's a mechanic. Like, not oh, a, mechanic, a mechanic, but he's like a moto dude, and yeah, he yeah. knows how to do all that shit, you know? Fix like, side been, by side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I've been trying to learn, but it's hard, you know? But Dude. So, either we, so now I'm still kind of up there. I still got to go back to Montana, but... How long ago was it you broke down there? It was last winter. It was pretty much this time last winter. A year. Winter. Dude. Yeah, a year ago. It sounds then, to me it's like divine intervention, dude, to break down in a place like that where all well, of a sudden... my Jeep was toast, bro, and the shocks... And so done. finally, Connor, my boy Connor had to finally... Because I just go down because the only place I'd get Wi-Fi was in the parking lot, right? Because it's up in the mountains. And I'd just be sitting in this little parking lot. And my boy Connor's like, yo, why don't you come help me work? Blah, blah, blah. And I, I kept saying, nah, 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 nah. How long I, I had something against lot? work, you know. I haven't worked forever, pretty much my whole life. So snowboarding Dude. don't count. Yeah, if it's if it's fun, you never yeah. work a day in your life, right? But I got I got all stoked on it, and finally I just went up and started doing it, and I was like, oh hell yeah, this is. So I got my Jeep fixed, got my shocks fixed, just shit I've been needing to do. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep it trucking. I got the best runs so far of the year. Like we're just getting powder day, powder runs like private. You I mean, know? And you just rolled into this life. On accident, I was thinking today getting runs. I was like, dude, this is an open field, not one track, and we're getting powder run. And I'm like, how? It's like a dream. I'm like, yeah, my mom's looking out for me. I'll tell you that much, bro. Like, Yeah, it they, sounds like you're just rolling and things are happening, dude. I can't believe you were broken down for four months without even seeing a human. I didn't dude. see a human. And like, thank God they got Amazon because I figured out that Amazon, because before even Darla came out, I had this other chick. She sent me some top ramen. She was at New York, my friend New York. Drone come by or something? <laughs> yeah, dude, they would come by on like a four wheel drive. For like real? It was, yeah, it was a, it was not a, like a normal FedEx. Truck. They like pinned you where you were on your phone or something. Well, because like... I I realized because I saw one of his neighbors. There was like his neighbors probably like a mile away. Yeah. But I you have to go down the same street. But I saw a FedEx guy come by once. You're like, and I was oh, like, come. oh shit! I I think I can actually get a FedEx out here, dude. Thank God, cause yeah. I got I literally just got two packs of ramen. I probably <laughs> yeah. like so I was eating ramen for like four big months old straight. packs, like the big ones, you know, with dude. the triple stack, quad stacks. And your dog's eating ramen too. You guys are just. I actually life. did. I actually was. There was a point where I ran out of food for her, and I was feeding her ramen with me, and then I got a. I got, Dude, a, cra- I got a crate of beans sent, bro. Really? Oh, yeah. Beans was, and ramen? <laughs> yeah, just... It was probably like 200 pounds worth of beans. Dude, the dogs love From that, Amazon. From you know, Amazon. You, you know you can order food? I dude, mean, I Amazon don't... will sell you anything, dude. They're kind of the shit. And they it, kind of are the shit, but they're kind of but it's pieces someone, of shit. It's not know, Amazon like... that actually sends it to you. It's like some dude who sells beans. Yeah, you know it's, what I mean? just, so... it's all... It's just everything's easy to get these days, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, just like, like we were talking with, if you're a guy that makes clothing, you can make anything right well, now. Well, anything, everyone can make anything. You yeah. know what I mean? Like everyone's, it's like a perfect screen print, a perfect, you know, blah blah blah. And you can do. That's why my shit. I just add a stripe, and the whole thing is, is so it's from snowboarding. So when you sit down, your fucking shit don't fly up. You know what I mean? So ah, that's why you do on, that. So it all started with like I like length, you know, so it hangs out and yes. Your, I don't know, the, the fashion right now in snowboarding, I don't really pay attention, but it's like the balloon look, you know, with the big MC Hammer pants yes. kind of shit with the tight shirt. Something's gone wrong yeah. somewhere. I don't know. I, I mean, don't know. Maybe really we're out of touch. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we're out of touch. I don't know, but it's uh, like something, something veered a weird way. It'll yeah, find it's, its way again, though. Yeah, I mean, I mean, people were saying that probably when I came out, too. You Dude, know what for I mean? sure, So man. they're like, what is this shit, you know? <laughs> for sure, and that's the same thing, like... With Tech Nine, we had the, all the baggy shit going on, and people were like, "What is that?" I mean, before that, it was a big jeans. How are these, how are these, these gangster yeah. guys up in the mountains? Oh. Before that was the jeans, like you were talking. Yep. And now, dude, the jeans were insane. I, I should have just ride in jeans, dude. I, I'm like, I'm not, I don't need to put in a. I don't ride that much to put on a pair of pants. I'm not dude, spray to, that that coating on. I'm not climbing Everest right now, you know. So, so you're just getting hanging out, doing your thing, making runs right now. Just doing runs. Like testing it out, and I think he he might hire me to do like head of like ski something or something. So it's all everything's in the this mix, could turn but, into a cool job. Yeah, I mean it just yeah, and it just started out just chainsaw, and I wasn't even really trying to do that. You ever you used know? a chainsaw before? Never that? before that. No. <laughs> <laughs> now we kill it at it. You know, it's fun, but I I enjoy it. Dude. It's a whole. 
It's a whole. When you look good, dude. Yeah. You, know, lo- you look like life suits you right now. Just like your cowboy hat, dude, is a really good look. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm backing you know? this, this version got... of Bose Nuts right now. It's pretty we got awesome. Bose Nuts tuxedo, you know? We got the sweats. <laughs> the tuxedo. Nice and sweats. <laughs> dude, that's so good. Everything man. hanging off me. You know, I got my little bag, holster. I noticed that. Did you make this holster? I made everything on me. Except so this do you hat. normally do you normally have some guns loaded up in there? Always. Just oh, you got one right now. Oh yeah. Bam, dude. Oh it's, yeah, it's loaded one in the chamber. That's all the time. how it works. Yeah. And then Utah, that's legit. That's legal. It's a constitutional carry state, so even you, your you gun do. is all tricked out in Bozong style. Yeah, right. I, I art everything <laughs> up, bro, and I made a little dangler leash for it, so it don't fall out. Dude, you're the modern day cowboy. We're trying, you know. We've. I mean, it's not even I'm trying. I'm just. I don't know. You're living figure, living your life, dude, where it takes you. You can do anything you want. You yeah. Know? And I figure, why not, you know? You happy? Yeah, I'm very you happy. You seem like you're happy. I'm very dude. happy. You seem like you're a lot yeah. happier than last time we hung out. And I know you just lost someone at that point, but you just were like looking for a... You were it's, meandering trying to find where life is Yeah, it's a weird you. one. Losing a family, yeah, it's a yeah. weird one, you know? But yeah, no, I'm happy. But dude. even beyond that mean, layer, though, you know, you were just kind of trying to It's just a, it puts you, you know, you're just, it's just, it's weird. Yeah. You're like, what is life kind of type shit? Yeah. You know what I mean? There's like, a lot to figure it out. Makes, it makes you really double think what's going on. You For know real, I mean? dude. You're just like, and maybe you'll never figure it out, but hopefully. I mean, I like I say, you don't figure it out till you die. That's what you some, know some what I mean? say. You I can mean, stay here, word, you huh? fight with everyone about your little shit or that. You about know? No what one you knows know. until you're dead, you won't know. Then it's you either know like, what's up. Oh, well, what up? Or it's whatever. I mean, I don't know. Big enlightening moment, you know? I hope. Yeah, yeah it, right? it's crazy, dude. And I think all you can do is uh, just try to be happy until then, you know? And it's, you it's know, about people and relationships and just doing, being yeah, happy. I mean, I, I literally, it seems like all the fun stuff, I had to quit. Just, you know, it's not. Is that the party stuff? Everything. Like, you know, drinking, we're almost six years. It'll be six years on my birthday. Damn, dude, you've been drinking six years? Not a drop. It's my biggest trick yet of my life. Do you, you know? know how, I mean, but, think of all the hangovers you've avoided. Dude, that's what that's the that's literally Oof. the best thing about not drinking. I used to wake up so hungover, you game like I couldn't even start my day until like I had like two whiskeys in me. And as you're an adult, those hangovers, yeah. man. Well, I mean, it was fine because it was cool. Unless you drink. Well, it was cool because I always was just kind of like a broke snowboarder, right? Yeah. So you don't really have money to you know unless you're like team managers buying you a drink or something. You're not really sitting there like. Rah. And when they do, you're like, let's take advantage of this. As soon as you have money though, and you're yeah. Like, Whoop. Your all your little habits go up fucking a hundred fold, yeah, like, bro. And you're just like, I got money. I'm like, I really never had a problem until I had money. Until I had money, <laughs> <laughs> more money, more problems. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. So. There's some truth in those statements, dude. I mean, and people, I guess I'm the same way. I mean, people would be talking shit after the bomb hole thing. They're like, oh, whatever, loser. You just spent all that money. I'm like, dude, you don't. Were get people it. talking shit? Uh, a about couple, spending a couple the money? kids, but it doesn't bother me. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm like, until you make a million, spend it. Like, then you talk to me, whatever. But. It, it, that's not the money was that like I look back and that was the worst part of my life. You know what I mean? Shit like, got complicated. Yeah, real complicated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, so, people also don't realize how fast you can spend money. You realistically. Can, you can literally, no matter the amount, you can spend it in one day. You Dude. know what I mean? And it trips me out. Yeah, if you were to get like 50K tomorrow, it's gone because there's old gone. bills. There's old. You that know, instantly this guy be money. gone because yeah. I'd instantly go buy more snowboards, yeah. bro. You just like, instantly. Right. Yeah, you have these dreams you're trying to. and. And it seems like a lot of money, but the truth is, man, it's brink. It just evaporates. It's no matter how much you have, it all goes. Yeah, dude. you know. And that's it why when goes. you read, you meet those true, really rich people, they are like misers, dude. Oh yeah, they won't even go out to dinner, dude. Oh, They're yeah. like just because they know how fast it can disappear. And they, you won't even know. So they'll be dressing crappier than I do. You know what I mean? A lot of the, the <laughs> yeah. most wealthiest dudes I know, you would never the shittiest know car. Bro. Yeah. Shitty's car, they don't re up everything. They're all stingy. They're like, yo, you're going to pay me that 25 cents yeah. extra? You, I paid you extra. You still owe me tomatoes. 50 cents from, yeah, <laughs> from yeah, dinner three but... weeks ago. It's like, dude, you got $7 million. But then there's the nice ones too. That, like, still got a very special product to talk to you about today. Very serious product. Something that you're only going to want to wear to church and probably to school, maybe on an airplane. Fart Boys International. Woo! Love wearing this gear. No matter where I go, People have something to say about it, and and it's all good things. People love it. People enjoy seeing it. They get a laugh about it. Good homie who's doing it. He uh, has only the best intentions. He just loves snowboarding, and he wants the people that get it to get it. You know what I mean? And I actually have a bet with him going that if he did a pretty small ad buy, I guaranteed him, I bet him, or else I think I have to pay for it. I don't know. Did we say that? I don't know if we said that. Um, I made a bet that 
if you guys would buy enough of the merch to uh, cover the small amount that I charge him for an ad, just to prove this point. Um, so we'll see what's up. And to uh, help make it happen, it's uh, there's going to be a discount, 15%. It's going to be Stony Buds 15 at checkout. We'll get you 15% off. Fart Boys International. Homie makes the sickest, sickest gear that just funny-ass T-shirts, bright-ass sweatshirts, just, just fun stuff. And they all say Fart Boys International, loud and proud, or at least Fart Boys. Um, always coming out with cool new stuff. He's got some mugs. He's got... All sorts of stuff, stickers. Um, his packaging's insane. It comes in like a, a baggie, like you just bought some drugs or something. So it's all it's all in the name of fun. It's all in, in the people that get it are gonna get it. And and oddly enough, there's people that don't get it, and it's that's even more fun too because when they see it, it's like sick. You don't get it. So get it. Go out and get it, man. Um, Fart boys. That's the the people. Stonies buds. Fifteen. That's a discount. Let's go. Sure. That's, I think that's the key, dude, to share when you can, and yeah. it's gonna come back. To well, you. thank God for the Rasmussens for letting me stay at their house right now, dude. So, for real, man. You know, I want to give a big shout out. Thank you, guys. That, doing that kind of thing, but, man, is is uh, just cr- clutch. I feel like that's the key to life, right there. Is just yeah, sharing well, what you can, stay positive, and just kind of keep it trucking. You know what I mean? Like, fuck yeah, dude. In my case, I had to quit everything, quit drugs. I mean, it wasn't drugs; it was drinking. So, quit drinking. That was your biggest vice. Yeah, it was like everyone always thought I was on drugs, but I wasn't. It, like, dude, I was in countries where drugs you can't even dude, find. Dude, that's the thing they don't understand. Yeah. Like, I'm like, bro. You can't. <laughs> a lot of those countries, yeah. And, and, and if you get caught, you lose an arm or something. Yeah, yeah, dude, they'll fucking shoot you with most of them. Or you, know you go to I mean? jail for six years yeah, for I'm a joint. I'm trying to joint. get locked up abroad, bro, but no. thank God I did. You ever oh watch that show? Like, yeah, locked up I did, and I would be like, holy shit, I fucking... Oh my god! Never dude. do we that. We were wild, bro. We yeah. were wild. Like traveling with rank weight back in the day. Like that was my dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Did you see what? That was he, like my he just brother. dropped some shit online. I don't know if you saw that. Did he? He was just texting me the other day. He, me and rank weight keep in touch every now and then. What up, rank weight? Yeah. And, what uh, up? He uh, just got sober. Is he sober? Yeah. Now? He really? just did a podcast. What up, Mike? What up, Mike? We yeah. love you, dog. Good for you, man. Let's uh let's all link up, dude. We I wish we should have arranged it and hit him up, got him on a we stream right now. Right? Um, but yeah, he just got sober. He said he had a long time uh, methamphetamine habit, and he nice. fully had a podcast about it. And he got sober, and uh, apparently he's doing. I think he's like six months. Really? Maybe yeah. Yeah, that's think, a hard. That's a, from what I hear. That's a hard one to quit. Yeah, I mean all those heavy shades. Those are no joke. You know, especially what I mean? you're out in Hawaii, and it's like I'm sure it's like a full. I think scene he's, and a psycho. I think he's, and when he hit me up, he's in New York now. Oh, is he he's, in New yeah, York? He's in New York. There's now. probably even crazy scene there. He's I don't even know where he was. Yeah, then. he's like, come out here, and I'm like, bro, I don't think New York. I don't know if I, I don't think do you <laughs> and Mike and New York together. <laughs> it just doesn't. It was good back when I we, I did, but I got a dog now. I'm all. Fucked. You just show up to New York with your dog. Let's go, I, dude. I tried. That was the plan. You guys saw me right after it, dude. I left that place with my tail between my legs, bro. I was like. <laughs> oh god they don't they don't let you do that with a dog like that dude. yeah i mean for a year i just sat there and picked you know you got to pick up the shits when you walk oh, them, true huh you know and i'm not i'm used to just opening the door and letting her run yeah, around let do their thing dude yeah, in the mountains so dude they just like go out and do their thing half the half the time that's why i stay in the mountains too is just for my dog pretty much more than anything dude, i always yeah, wondered how uh trevor andrews did it with boo that that big old dog, dude. You see, you gotta have someone on the other side watching him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. He had a big old, big I've old seen dog. Him once. Dude. Yeah. Those in poops, New York those, too. Yeah, those poops must be like, in New York too. And those little walking places they have are like the little dog parks are like ten, like yeah, ten feet. I don't know how he did it. What kind of dog was that? It was a. I think he had a big old uh, Great Dane. Great what it Dane. Was. That's yeah. what they're called. Great Dane. Yeah. Those things are like, they're massive, dude. They're insane. I don't know how you do that in New York City. They're I think little, they don't like to move around a lot though. Yeah, I don't. I think they got like I. I'm not too sure about that breed, but I've known a couple of people with them. I think they get like, they're like couch dogs, kind of. Yeah, they're not really. They don't live they're that just long. a big horse in your house. <laughs> horse, you dude, know, for it's real. a good, it's a good guard dog, but I don't think they're the best runners. Not, or, not the best runners, dude. I just saw some a yeah. TV show where someone had a cow living in their house. I was really? tripping on that, like straight up living in there like it was their dog, and I was just like, that's insane. That's pretty sick. I want to get a cow. Do get a cow? Or, or there's that deal where they sell you the little pig, and they tell you it's going to be a small pig. It's a micro pig. And it's not. There's it. no such thing as micro pigs. Really? I guess. That's what it's. We've come to find out. Really? <laughs> so oh, so anyone they just who fully... gets sold this micro pig, it turns into a freaking like six hundred pound pig. Wow. <laughs> That's like an old scam. 
Hey, I got this micro pig for you. What they do with all the <laughs> alligators and snakes in Florida too, and dude, fucking up the ecosystem. That's a problem, dude. So what? Are you still getting time to build, uh, make your clothing and do your thing? Yeah, I do that. It's just, it's turned into like a hobby kind of yeah. now. It's, it just keeps me, when I, I like getting orders, you know, but it's it, it takes money, you know, it takes money to make you money. You got to just so. ramp up that online presence, I guess. If I you're mean, not it's, traveling 365. Well, I have the online store set up and it's just like normal prices, just kind of like weird graphics I like putting up, but it's mainly for me for when I'm driving. Yeah. Because I normally don't you have You make a, your own clothes, basically. I can, but I, I'm always driving around. So this is the first place I've been in since my mother's. You Damn. Know, two year, when I was taking care of her, probably what, three years ago, four years ago? Uh, 2022, yeah, yeah. 21, I mean. Yeah, it's and, crazy. Uh, it goes by fast, huh? Yeah, it goes by real fast. It's 24 now. So I haven't really been able to set up because it was hard. I Like, you know, to set up, you've got to, like, have walls. So I had I was sewing out of my tent a little bit just in the middle of nowhere. It was pretty fun. But How do you get the energy uh, the electricity? I got a generator. Sick, so I got the dude. full setup, you know. I can literally You're in a tent sewing clothing. Yeah. It's not a tent, it's like a yurt. It's like one of those shift pods. So it's like a two thousand dollar tent. Oh, dude, like, those are insane. It's actually the last thing I spent my money on because me and my mom Great she, investment. she got me into hiking or camping again and that's where I found my like it's just easier to be away from people and be sober type things. So yeah. Everything just lined up, and I'm like, that was the last of my millions was buying the generator and that tent. And, and I was like, yo, mom, I'm just going to be living like a gypsy. And it's weird having that conversation with your mother and knowing that, you know, they're not going to be there forever. Yes. And so when all that went down, I was like, fuck it, let's, let's roll. This is, what, this is what the plan was. What did your mom say about all that? She's like, oh, that, you know, she's kind of like, okay, cool, you know. And she's always like, you're going to sew, yeah, blah, 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 so, blah, blah. We're doing it, you know, but it's like... I'm sure she's not worried, wasn't worried about you, dude. You always land on your feet. I always, yeah. She's always like, dude, I don't know what it is with you, Nate, but you, yeah. got, you got angels looking out for you doing something. Yeah, dude, I something mean, always works out. It's like... I mean, we're 42 now, so I mean... Here you are, right? I'm like, <laughs> shit, bro, if you guys need half of it, I can't even say half this shit. <laughs> I love that you're still shredding like you are, dude, and just well, doing what you're doing. It's what brings me happiness, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, re regardless of the, like, whatever, the scene or any of that, like, the end of the day, that feeling you get, like, just today, I was like, I didn't snowboard for a week, and then I was, like, feeling all weird, and I just got the first, you're like, bro... It's like raw, raw. You know that dude? He's like explaining surfing. Dude. He's like raw. Then you pull down raw, dude. It's that, bro. Yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't know unless you know, and it's just. Oh, the it's feeling just you feeling. get when you're done riding and you're chilling and you're sore in the right way, the best exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah. You know, that's, feels, that's a feeling, right it, there. It's a feeling, and that's what I've learned. It comes down in life. It's all about feelings. Like mm -hmm. getting that money in my account. It's a feeling. Yeah. Kissing that first girl, it's a feeling, you know. Doing losing that, that money. Do it, yeah, feeling. losing that money is a feeling. When that card don't work, that's a feeling, that's bro. A I'll feeling, tell you that much. Dude. I'm like, all right, well, time to make some more, right? And it's all part of the struggle of life, dude. Exactly. You know, peaks, you know, not, I, I call it peaks and alleys because I spend a lot of time in the cities, you know, <laughs> peaks and alleys. You know. In those dark oh, alleys, what? dude. Yeah. <laughs> Rats the size of French bulldogs. Oh, my God, dude. I, whew. They're trying to say that like those rats never bite anybody. Don't think yeah, that's bullshit, right, bro. Those rats are. Crazy, I was bro. I was watching this scene the other day. This dude had some pet rats though, and they were pretty smart. They were like running around. I mean, they're pretty smart things, huh? Yeah, I'm not, but not into rats. Yeah, I'm not into them either, bro. So out of all your uh, travels, where, where's your spot? Where's like the best spot you went to? Where I'm at right now. Nice, dude. <laughs> yeah, what? Well, well. No, I, I mean. It's a different life. You're not but sleeping in your yurt right now, right? No, I, I, I was, be cold I was doing it in the yurt and then it flooded out. And then I would, I like sleeping in the Jeep the most because it's like bear proof and like, nice. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you got, actually got some walls, but so just before the winter, my boy Connor and his family let me move into their house. So actual house, an actual house. So I actually have walls and that's why I got the sewing machine set up and we're just, you know, I get was orders. I was making holsters and hoodies. I mean, I get orders, but they're not like not like enough to pay the bills yeah, that's the know? thing i feel, feel like you got to get consistent i don't know 100 a month or something that's a lot yeah you know but Maybe then a hundred i, I could order a hundred of them but then i sit then you're sitting there yeah. just like on canal street like okay now you got a hundred <laughs> things to sell you know Dude, are they so, still down there on canal street after after covid i wonder probably I, last time i went down there canal street's always bumping yeah and for the people that don't know canal street's in new york city 
Uh, you can go there and buy anything. Dude. Anything like, fake, dude. The fake yeah. rollies. Didn't you get yeah, all fake the cheese, watches, purses? The I love New York hoodies. That's why I was always down there. I, was I used to get bootleg movies down there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Um, music mixtapes. You could get like the the, the newest DJ mixtape. Yeah, Twos was always having some good old mixtapes from New York. Dude, Twos would go down and get that cologne. What's that cologne he likes? Fucking Into Egyptian twos. musk, dude. Yeah, Twos. <laughs> God, dude, that's his suit. That's his pitch, big Twos, dog. rest in peace, buddy. Love you, dog. <laughs> yeah, he loved Canal Street, dude. He could have. Yeah. He'd be there right now if he could, dude. That that's, was my that was my first introduction to New York was with Twos. With Twos, yeah. that's a good. Was that Red Bull? Uh, that first Red Bull Rail Jam? Is that the one you Niagara? won? You win yeah. that? How much I money? Won. I should have won all three, but they're like, you can't win all three, so we just give you one. So I won ten grand, but I was so pissed that I should have had thirty that I never did a contest so why did, after that. What do you I was mean, like, fuck this shit. You should have won why should you have won all three? I just knew what tricks went down on gotcha. and you know, it just depends. it's it, that's contest for you though. It's yeah. like whatever the contest thought was a better the the judge thought was a better that trick. day or someone did a weird flip yeah. to rail on that one and it's just like what dude I can't remember the trick but I, I did a back lip and I think Arnold did a back lip and I guess his might have been better even though if you watch the footage mine's Scotty still Arnold? better yeah mine's still better love you Scotty damn dude <laughs> that's crazy it's you two against each other that li- you're both from yeah. here you know that's yeah. pretty wild dude it's fun it was fun dude that, the whole little snowboard I'm kind of out of it now but it was cool you'd travel Halfway around the world, and you'd see a bunch of ding dongs you knew that last, you knew that you saw last week. You're yeah. like, what the hell? It's you know? really unreal, huh? That the way that works. It's cool. Um, it's, I mean, looking back, dude, what do you what do you think? What do you think with snowboarding? Like any thoughts? Like anything you would have done different? Are you happy with what you did? Like, I'm fucking more than happy with what I did. Yeah. You know, I never thought I would have made it as far as I did. You know, but I mean, I you made kinda, it all the way, dog. Yeah, I mean, we're still sitting here. You know, I'm so relevant somehow, kind of. Oh, you dude, know, you're, but you're Nate Bozong, dog. I just you're... always, I the thing what it, what it was is I always just kind of was willing to do, just go with the flow, and always rolling around and meeting people. I got a good, you know what I yeah. mean? Like I grew up a poor kid. We didn't. I never took a flight till snowboarding. So yeah. So when you grew up, you didn't come from much means. No. So once this happened, I was just like, fuck. I'm never gonna. I don't know if I'm ever going to be back in New Zealand or whatever. Like, they barely let me in because J2 was holding drugs and they thought it was me and I'm the one that got strip served. Motherfucker. J2, I'll never forget that, or what? Dude, dude. And we finally get out. I just get strip searched and I was like, dude, that was me. I was like, motherfucker, dude. What? Did the, the dog smelled it or something? We get off. We get off. It was me, Richards, Twos, Embry Rucker. Get Richards is probably like, what? oh, mean? God. He's probably so, freaking, dude. So we're, sit- we're sitting in the customs, right? And we're. We're like, it's like five rows deep, right? Like 500, like a couple flights just get off in New Zealand. And we're against the wall, right? And I'll never forget it. The, the, all the drug dogs come out and there's like three of them. And all of a sudden, and Tuz is behind us, probably like three people behind us because he was a little slow. Well, what I find out now is he was fucking doing, trying to stuff it. Uh, I didn't even, Down his pants? He, he was doing something. He can't get in trouble now. So, so he was waiting for his bag, but... So either or the dogs, I'll never forget it. They just come and I'm standing next to Embry. Was he stuffing his weed in his prison pocket or what? Yeah, was it? He exactly. Was? I think he was. <laughs> and uh, the dogs just jump over like rows of oh, people right in front of me. And I'm they like, like jumped. They went crazy. They were jumped over everybody. And, I, no. and they're just barking at me. And I'm like, hey, word, where do I go? <laughs> where do I go? You said that to the to I was the like, dudes. okay, where do I go? Obviously. Well, and you, then, you knew you didn't have anything on you. I knew I didn't have anything on me. But I think what it was is because remember those musket pants that were out and they were like kind of crispy. They they're almost like starched. Yes. So I think is what it was. I just came from Hollywood. Yeah. What up, players? And uh, we were smoking weed. I think oh. in Hollywood with Stevie Williams or something. It was something going on. Either or, I think I just reeked of it, you know, and it stayed in those clothes. But I mean, dude, when we would travel, you don't change your pants for a no. week, <laughs> two I'm weeks, still three weeks, bro. four weeks, five weeks. I don't change them ever. Yeah. So I imagine it had a lot of smells. Yeah, so that's what I thought it was. Then we get out there and we're all like, fuck, like there everyone's waiting for me to get out. And Tuz is like, oh man, that was, I thought that was, I was busted, bro. Blah, blah, blah. I, I have like all this weed on. I was like, you motherfucker, dude. dude. But it's cool. We all made it through. It was a good, it was a fun trip. But and yeah. he didn't tell anyone that he had it, huh? No, not until after, not until we were completely out on the thing. And he's like, oh, sorry, guys. That was probably me. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker, you know? I can't believe they went is, after you for it, dude. That's so I always, I always got fucking, <laughs> it's cool, though. 
I'm good at taking the blame. Dude, you got stories, dude. I love how you're telling that story and you're like, and it was Hollywood smoking weed with so and so. Just like stories bleed into stories, bleed into stories. I, I try not tell stories, but I have so many stories, dude. It's kind of crazy. You kind of, it's but, hard to keep track of all. They just kind of come back to you, though, as you're talking, huh? But it, it does. It keeps me It keeps me sane, though. I think a lot about my stories in life when I'm just sitting up there by yeah. myself in yeah. the woods. I'm like, well, we killed it, you know? Yeah, we, we had, had some, we had some fun, you know? We're still shredding, so... When you can't keep up that lifestyle... No. So. You, you either end up in prison or you die, yeah, you know? Dude, and I know, you know, and, like, we... Like, yeah, so... And you made it. Here you are, you know? Yeah, by the... Th- Fucking skinny your teeth. Skinny your teeth. Yeah, I was looking for that. I was like, I don't even barely. know what that means, but that's why I was like, all right, bro, we're looking at like 15 years. Like, we're gonna cut it out, dude. We just we had our run, bro. It's we all yeah. There's and, there's quotas, and we, you know we've reached our quotas, and you can't. I don't know. You do it too long, like you said, you're gonna either be dead or in prison. Yeah, or, or, or you know what? you end up like fucking. A, I don't know. Yeah. But also, you don't want to be old with a fucking like oxygen tank. You know what I mean? Like you yeah, want to be exactly. able to still do the things you love. You yeah. know. That's why I had to quit smoking cigs because I was just yep. like, I, I gotta. I've been trying to quit smoking cigs. Too, Are you smoking like, cigs or just vaping? No, fuck vaping. I just I'm even gone to like rolling cigs. You that know? helps. So that helps cut down, dude. Just because you're not like yeah. you have to roll it first, you know. You're but like, I, I, do I actually, want to roll one I right actually now? just bought a pack of smokes before I came down here. I was like, fuck, you can't roll and drive, but no, you can't. But that's what's good about I mean, rolling. It keeps you. It kind of slows it down. But that's yeah. I woke up one night, dude, and I couldn't breathe. You know, sometimes you have yeah, that when you smoke too much in a day or something. Yeah. And I, like, felt a panic attack almost. And then I just never smoked again. Yeah. That's good because it's hard. I mean, I've, I've quit and I've tried I still, to quit. Dude, I still, like, will be driving and I'll see a convenience store and just be like, oh, shit. Dude. It's the worst one, bro. It's, yeah. It's, it's uh, just you can buy them everywhere, dude. Same with alcohol. Which, that's what I was going to say. It's just like alcohol, you know? I uh, it's pretty uh. I feel because I when we when I was in rehab when we they take us to the uh, grocery store once a week. Oh yeah, on Fridays. Yeah, yeah. Fr- yeah. you've been there. <laughs> no, I never made it. I never. I know. I was That's, always it late is to on class. Fridays, yeah. <laughs> so they they bring you, and I always felt bad for the alcoholics because they're in there just every convenience store or every. They're like, man, I could just get a beer right there in the no, liquor I know. store, it's... and it's just like, dude, that's rough when you're trying to quit. That's. I mean, that's. Puts yeah, it in I your try. Face, to, dude. It's that's the hardest thing. You know what I mean? You really got to have that willpower to quit. And like, that's what it's you gotta, need to want it, huh? You, you got to want it. Yeah, you got to want it. Like it's it's life or death. You know, for at least for me, it's like yo, I'd rather I'd rather take a bullet, you know, than take another sip. You know? Yeah, dude. It's just, that's just what it is. You, know? you got to that point finally, huh? Yeah. Where you're just like, it's yeah, just, this this can't happen. It's not for me. We had our fun. We we survived, and you know, it's not for me. Yeah. You know? It's facts, dude. So good for you, dude. Make bows on. Yeah. We're trying, bros. We're yeah, trying dude. out here, bros. And you're still shredding and still and shredding. Loving dude. Again, life, I, dude. Dude, I've gotten some of the best days so far this year. Like pound for pound, like runs, powder turns, not tracking tracks. Yeah. It's been so good, dude. Just dude. taking runs, dude. Like You know what's sick is everyone complains in Utah about the powder panic and they have to Go up at three o'clock and four in the morning it's and sit a, there. As you're just like leisurely go shred when you I want. I somehow fell into this scene where yeah. I'm like, "Hey, yeah, pick me up, bro." And I literally walk out the door. He picks me up in this big old like snow machine. I'm like the. Oh, you I, get picked up today. At your I, was crib. Like, I was like, "All right, Rice can do it too. I can do it too, but just a little ghetto, you yeah. know." But you know, we'll do it. <laughs> you get picked up at your <laughs> I was like, crib. Put me on natural selection, bro. I'll show you guys how to shred, bro. I'll, I'll show you, you a line. <laughs> I'll show you guys on my rail board, dude. I'll show you what up. <laughs> Dude, now that you can ride the shorter boards in the pow now, so yeah. Railroad. I mean, I, I actually do like the shorter board because I like the tree ride and shit. Yes. It's, trees are my favorite, bro. Dude, you got to be able to pivot and maneuver in those trees, right? Bink, 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 bink. Bink pong, bink. bro. Uh, That's fun. You got to be careful of those tree wells, dude. Do you? So yeah. you get picked up by like a, a snow, a, a sled, or is it like a full-on snowcat? It's a full-on snowcat. Like Damn, a, Things like half a million dollars or something. I don't know. It's dude, one of those. Send me a picture and I can pop it on the screen. It's the... They might have a give me a day in the life of Nate Bozon right now. Well, today I woke I wake up at seven from work. So now seven a.m. The kids up. Um, and I to be honest, I usually so early in the morning when I first wake up. A little zen. I, session. Yeah, it's like that's when I get my best. I'm like, let me just do something real quick. Yeah, and a little then, something uh, creative. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, depending, they'll like right now. Today he called and he's like, "Yo, you want to take some runs?" And I was like, "Word, let's go." 
because the boss man's out of town, so we can like track it out a little bit because he's not going to be back for a bit. So otherwise, you keep the tracks for him. Or, uh, otherwise, we leave him and ha- he's got freshies, and I'll go. We'll go in the run- the trees. You oh, know he's where there, he, he probably has go. some people with him, huh? Yeah, he's always got buddies. He'll think, bring in you know. his some people and show them a good time. Yeah, you know. I mean, I guess it wouldn't you? You know, guys hide out and do your thing. I hide now. out, bro. You don't see me. You've never met him, is that what you no, said? No, I never met. I never <laughs> That's met the so dude. Yeah. Sick, dude. And he just tells people, bro. They, they, they know who I am, though. Up here. Yeah, they know who I am. Here. Yeah, they, they He's know. building these trails. <laughs> they know. Everyone knows, dude. <laughs> That's so sick, dude. <laughs> You're like a selling feature for the place. <laughs> kind of, you know. It, it's hit or miss, you know. I mean, I got banned from that spot up in Idaho because. I was hiking it before they opened, right? The place Kelly's Canyon. So I, I got two more years of banning from that spot. But They banned you for how many years? My cousin Josh and his family, my uncle, they used to own that, right? And he's been trying to get I me to come that, there. Dude. So he's been trying to get me to come there my whole life, right? And I finally go there. And since I was there two days hiking up, and I'm like, oh, I'll tag them. I'll, uh, I'll you know. Oh, like, you tagged them on the gram. I tagged them on the gram thinking they'd be hyped. Like, oh, okay, there's this kid. <laughs> The motherfucker ended up used to like work for the CIA, right? No. So this guy f- sees me tag Kelly's Canyon. They catch me, and I guess he did all his little homework on me, whatever. And uh, so I come up two days later. I have an avalanche dog, right? She's service for avalanche. Yeah. She's got one class. So they kick insane. me off because of the dog. Oh, it's and like, like water. It's a water shed said, or what? Either way, we have our words, and I yeah. said some shit. I'm like, you guys are nerds. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, long story goes, it's a small town. So the dude ended up, we find out the story. He was CAA, did his homework on me. And they're like, they just did not want me around. You know, because it's For nice. Real? Yeah, but it's all good. What, because of the, maybe the thing in Utah with the, the guns? But this or? was Idaho. No, yeah. but just but he it's a family you resort. Yeah. You know, they don't want some guy with face cats running around a nice little <sighs> yeah. family resort. They don't want me shredding it up, bro. Yeah. Throwing snappies all over the place. You're not the, uh, the clientele. Not, yeah, no, I'm not... Uh, <laughs> So what? Yeah. So they shut, they kicked you out for five years or something because of the three dog? Years. Three so I years. I got banned for three years. Well, it's because I I said my words to him and then, I, and then I posted on the gram like fuck. Wait, you know, or I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean sorry, to do guys. that. What up? It happened. Kelly's Canyon. It so happened. I got two more years and I could go snowboard in Idaho again. Dude, I can't believe. Well, yeah, that. I got banned. I got banned from a resort, bro. Did you fit better up where you're at now? Because it's looks you look like a snowboard it's, cowboy. It's dude. kind of the only place I can be. Everyone's <laughs> out for me, dude. I gotta hide out in the woods, bro. Dude, and I couldn't imagine. What's it? it dude, it'd be crazy if you just went to Brighton. People would probably trip. Oh, my God, dude. dude. I thought about it. It just gave me anxiety. I mean, yeah. It'd be cool to see people, but, you know. It'd be too much. I you want to see someone relevant, dude. I'll, I'll show up and still be relevant, <laughs> yeah. bro, and with the, dude, all this Woodward, gray hair. You never jump into Woodward? No. I just, I mean, I went from getting free passes my whole life to now all of a sudden I got to pay for shit. Dude, yeah, I was like, I, yo, I bro, are yeah. you kidding me? You know how expensive this shit is? Dude, that's a hard, like, realization, dude, from going from yo. who you were to being like, you kind of just expect a certain thing, I guess. We get too used to yeah, it. Yeah, no, you get used to it for sure. And I was like, oh, man, I should have just kept all my old shit. And, like, we'd have we'd have a sportsman's warehouse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I think yeah. you'd be surprised. I think people would give you whatever you wanted. And I think if you hit up a resort properly, marketing wise, they would give you. No, the I know. I just don't put in the work. Yeah. You know, I'm just too if late. You I'm put just in like, the work. Rrr. If it's like yeah. Nate Bozon's going to Woodward, they're gonna be like, sick. Yeah, dude. but then they, but then they also expect something yes. from you too and when you true. get it for free. Do you and I don't want to give that. Yeah, and I'm like, nah, bro. Yeah. I like, I'll, I'll ride the lift and pay for my ticket. Yeah, and you, you don't know? want a bunch of kids like clamoring and expect to see you do. A but I mean, that's something. that's what people don't get is that's how it is. Is snowboarding, you know, like, oh, I want to be famous and I want people to know me. But then as soon as that happens, then your whole shit's got like yeah. your whole experience is different. Because now it's not just you're just trying this trick off a jump or this rail. Now people are watching you. You better do it or, and, you know. And every time one of them is going to be like, I can do, I can do that. I can I'm, do that I'm way better, bro. I don't even believe he's getting yeah. paid. Yeah. yeah. And but, they'll you know, say it. Some of them will say it, too. You know, I mean. I see it all. I respect it all, but yeah. don't think that we didn't do it 20 years ago, bro. Yeah. You know and I what think I mean? That's Without a, helmets. That's a problem <laughs> for a lot of pros is they don't want to go and be seen like that. Yeah, well, I mean, you just kind of get over it. Yeah. I mean, look, I, it's just like, look at all, I mean, we're nowhere near like a Hollywood type of person, but I mean, look at like, let's say a Michael Jackson, dude, it makes you fucking crazy, yes. bro. You start getting all weird. Dude. You can't go anywhere. Like Kanye I, West. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it's like, 
That's what people so, don't think about is how their lives they brought it on themselves. I mean, I don't think Kanye ever planned to be as famous as he is, but I mean, they can't go to McDonald's. I would, I would, it's it's not yeah, it's yeah. not what you think it is, bro. It's like you can't go to the convenience. The store. hardest thing I'm trying to do is just be a normal person, you know. And I'm never at that level, but yeah. like anywhere I go, still I get called out, right? But I'm literally I mean, just trying you, to be a normal. When you're getting human arrested, being. didn't one of the police be like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, oh yeah," I'm like in the handcuffs, and you could see it on the news somewhere. But you see me like turn around. He's like, "Yo, I used to watch you snowboarding. What happened?" And I was like, "No way, sick." But you see me talking to him. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah, it's funny, dude. That one, dude. You're just I like, just, really, bro? <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> I, no one gets it unless you're me. But I was like, after the form shit, it was crazy. Because it was the biggest video, right, until of all time, until the Rice video came out, right? Facts. So it was just that that everyone and their mom and their cousins watched. And it was just Which weird. video was it? The, the, True Life. True Life. Facts, well, dude. The it tour, was everything. Resistance. Then it was True Life, you know? And then... So I kind of just got lucky with that where everyone, so because these days and age, it's like bing, bing, bing. It's all super dude, fast, you it's know. It's crazy now. I, I, dude, it's nuts, you know. Yeah, the, but, the videos are like hit or miss, and anyone can have a video as big as the next guy because it's all the same platform. It's, it's all, all the and it's all the same tricks. It's just kind of what you like, but it's it's like it's not oversaturated. It's just way different now. Different. It's so easy to get shit out there. You know yeah. what I mean? Like. It's a whole different world where you guys were on tour and you the, were, you're at this level that other people couldn't be and, at. And like that, in that time, only three, four videos came out a year. You had to wait all year to see the new shit yeah. and what the new rail was or what the new trick was. Facts. And dude. now it's like, bink, bink, bink. And it's like, the there's no like, uh, the instant gratification. It's like all instant gratification. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, no, 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 no. And it's cool, but it's different, it's so than, different what, dude. than what I was, you know. I don't know what you would do if you were a young kid. You know what Join I mean? Join the like, army. Yeah, like how would you how would you become the next big pro? You know, like what move would you make? I don't even know. You well, know? see, that's the thing, and you kind of see it go. I mean, everything always goes in circles. And yeah. Then, I mean, it's like in skiing. There's the freestyle. Let's say Nate there's Bozong the was 17 right now. What would your move be? Fucking back lip. <laughs> no, I mean, how would you become what you became? What do you mean, like... Like, how, what would your tactic be with today's tools, you know? Uh, I don't even know. Because I, I never even really planned for you it. You didn't plan, huh? No, so it just kind of happens. It's so... But this day and age, I don't even know how you do it. You how, gotta, how are you, you gotta, discovered? Just from riding around Brighton. Shredding Brighton. Yeah, just me and Jordan. We're cruising Man around. and all? Yeah, what up, Jordan? What up, Jordan? What what? I just yeah. reached out to Jordan, dude. I need to get him in this. In Did this yeah, booth. dude. I haven't seen that kid in probably still 20 years. still live in Utah? Yeah, I have no idea, bro. Yeah. Jordan, I'll, coming for you, dog. I have, I have no <laughs> idea where anyone's at. I mean, yeah, you're up in the woods. You're like... <laughs> yeah, I'm like... <laughs> you're picking up a log. Like, hello, does this have Wi-Fi? So what... Who who knows? Who, like... We're like, damn, dude, this guy. You know who's actually the first dude we met? It was me and Jordan. Remember Solid Snowboards? Yeah. Hell so yeah. remember Blue uh, Blue Montgomery? He's Blue. like runs the whole industry right now. What up, Blue? But we had he was riding for Solid. Yeah, Blue. Blue rode for Solid. Yeah, he rode for Solid. I remember Kurt Wastel was on there, and he Dude. was like one of my faves. And I was like, oh yeah, we're meeting with the. And so me and Jordan met. It was up like Neil Blue. Rankin was one of the dudes. Yeah, too. and uh, there was a whole crew. Blaze Rosenthal, Dude. or no, that was. That was a different... Yeah, different no, brand. that was... Uh, fuck. Oh, I just... There's a lot of brands, dude. Yeah. But Solid was dope. Dude. Solid was sick. But yeah, so that's when... That was our first kind of... Introduction. Introduction to trying to like do the whole sponsored type thing. It, nothing worked out with it, but we always became... You were riding at Brighton? Yeah, we're still riding at Brighton. And Damn. I was Brighton in Park West. Dude. Well, It's Canyons crazy now, how or... Canyons is this mystical thing, and it had all these different names. Oh, yeah. It's so funny. And it's such a sick spot, actually. It's, I think it's better. It's the best one. You know, I it's got it's the, the best, best terrain. One, it rise, It goes under the radar. We're blowing it up right now, but who cares? I yeah, guess. I like, I like, I still call it Park West. Dude, I still, I, yeah. I remember when I was little, dude, I must have been like little. I, was, I think I was like 14. This I saw a video, a new video. And at the end of it, this dude was rapping, and he kept talking about Park West. And I figured yeah. out the whole thing was filmed at Park West. And I was always like, what is Park West? And I finally yeah. figured it out. And uh, it was then, what was it called after Park West? It was Wolf Mountain. Wolf Mountain. Wolf Mountain, yeah. And then the canyons? Wolf Mountain, and then, yeah, then the canyons, yeah. Yeah, and I think it would just became the canyons. And I remember being like, dude, I went there. There's those gullies you can get in yep. and shit. That was, yeah, the back in the day, there was yeah. only the one in the back, yeah, the natural half pipe. Yeah. Yes, dude. Yeah, is that, that still going? Yeah, you know? fuck yeah, that's dude. still there. I'm surprised I that place doesn't get hit up more. 
I think it does. I mean, people don't talk about it. Yeah, E Tree, that's the only place he rides, from what I hear. Yo, can I take a piss? Yeah, real I quick? could use a quick break, too. I need to take a pee. We've been going an hour anyway. If you want to support the show, man, Patreon is is huge, man. Anybody who is down to join up, we got um, $5 programs that is just like you get a sticker pack and, and you're saying, hey, I support you guys. Um, you can pay monthly. You can pay all at once for the year. And what it does is just supports the show, keeps the lights on. Um, keeps me going. I have an editor now, Kenny, who's uh, helping me rip these out, and that's, that's helping me get back on a schedule where we can put these out once a week. And uh, he's dope, man. I'd, I'd like to be able to, to throw some cheddar biscuits, you know, like pile them up for him and uh, just just let him rip and edit. And uh, in order to do this, man, it's it's support that keeps the lights on. If you enjoy the show, if you like what we're doing, you know, it's like NPR, dude. They need money to keep rolling. This, this all takes some cash, too. Uh, I'd love to keep keep bringing it to you. So hopefully uh, the people who are supporting me, man, thank you so much, dude. Like, supporting early like this is is huge. But uh, Patreon has tiers from $5 all the way up to $150. I'll basically give you, pass on all my skills I've learned in photography and running a board company, working with magazines. You want to get your foot in the door, um, have a mentor, uh, I'll get on the phone, we'll talk, we'll, we'll go over strategy, I'll, I'll pass on what info I can, whether you're trying to be a photographer, whether you're trying to start a brand, whether you have a brand going, uh, maybe you just want to talk to the kid, I don't know, um, but either way, dude, that's, that's top tier, um, limited amount of people can get in there, there's, I think there's a couple signed up, or maybe one, Chris Noise, what's up, dog, love your support, um, but yeah, Let's get let's get some more heads in there, man. I, I promise I'll make it worth your while, dude. In, in the middle of the road, I think twenty five bucks a month. We got the Nomi Nomi Buds Mug Club, and and uh, Nomi Mugs is you get one a one a month, uh, and uh, you, there's fresh ones coming out, dude. You're gonna get those. You're gonna end up with a dope collection on your hands. Uh, but yeah, man, you uh, you you're gonna get the uh inside track on what guests are coming in you're gonna be able to ask guest questions you're gonna be able to get uh deals on merch you're gonna be able to get uh geez just whatever i can do dude you're part of the crew uh the patreon peeps get the episodes early so you can you, you can be in the know before everybody knows what's up be like i already seen that that's old dude you haven't seen that yet so uh patreon man much love man anyone who signs up dude i really appreciate it Dude, we got merch now. Uh, www.stoniesbuds.com. Uh, sign prints of the guests each week. And uh, they're high quality, museum quality, archival prints, dude, that are that are going to uh, look very nice. And they're autographed by the guests. We got t-shirts. We got beanies. We got hoodies. I, I got a hoodie right now. Um, caps, bags, sticker packs, dude. Anything you buy on there supports the site. Um, you know, I hope to get, get a, a bigger crew going behind the site or behind this, the podcast and, uh, every piece of merch you buy just, just pushes us a step further. Uh, we'll be pumping out orders and, and getting you everything, uh, that you order uh, up front and, uh, quickly. And, uh, like I said, it just helps the site, dude. www.stoniesbuds.com. Get that merch. Get those prints. Man, get the collection of prints, dude. Autographed by MFM. We still actually... Uh, Kenny, do me a favor. Pop those MFM prints on the screen. I think you got them. Uh, there's one in Japan. There's only like four of those left. But I think there's like uh, 10 of the Estonia bridge prints. So very limited amount of prints. Get them while you can. Um, but they're autographed by the boss, MFM. Uh but yeah, Stony Buds, stoniesbuds.com. Get that march. Support the show. Thank you. Boom. Nomi mugs, man. What's up? There's a gnome over my shoulder watching me, making sure I do this right. These gnomes can be ruthless, dude. The gnomes are brutal. But luckily, they're on my crew. These uh, gnomes actually make these mugs. They are made... Four gnomes, by gnomes, and uh, it's gnomey mugs, dude. It's me paying homage to, uh, this is actually my mug, the uh, the gnomey mugs media mug, uh, holding the camera, riding a spring break board. Um, I also got uh, 
This is this is me uh, representing Deadlong on the weed board. Uh, J J two boom in that prison county orange. But uh, you know, hang out with your boys, sip on some coffee, sip on whatever you're sipping on. Talk snowboarding, talk culture, talk about uh, what era that monk's from, what video part Deadlong was 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 riding that board in or wearing that fit, and uh, you know. It, it's culture, dude. I couldn't afford a board collection, but I could afford a mug collection. So I decided, dude, let's do this. Let's make Nomi mugs, and uh, we got some new ones on the way soon. So I'm excited to uh, break those out to y'all. But uh, Nomi mugs, there's a Nomi of the Month Club on Patreon. But uh, get a mug, dude. There's three sizes. They go from 16 bucks to uh, 24 bucks for a 20 ounce coffee mug for the big dog coffee drinkers. Um, they are uh, a great way to represent snowboard culture and uh, give you something to talk about. That is going to be found at, you can buy, buy them at the uh, www.stoniesbuds.com. Um, so at my merch site. And you can also get them at www.e-stonephoto.com. Kenny's going to pop those uh, websites up so you can see them. Uh, mugs are available. Jump on them, get one, get some of these board art, just board art in your in your crib. Get these iconic uh, riders outfits fits in your crib. These are all like actual fits that the riders wore uh, in some of the the best highlights of their career. So get them, support snowboard culture, uh, support the show. Nomi mugs, thank you. A Stony Buds Print Shop, man. This site is holding about 25 years worth of my snowboarding photography featuring photos from, geez, 2.5 decades of snowboarding, man. It's just, things have changed so much throughout those years, so it's fun to look at the photos. You can see when, when the gaps were huge, when, when style was on point, and uh, it's all documented, and, uh, you know, it's interesting. You need to get some flavor in your life and some art on your walls. It's been proven that 100% of people who take the time to put art on their walls is happier than the people that don't. 100%. This is a Harvard study that I just fabricated for your benefit of you getting you to add these uh, prints to your walls. A Harvard study that I made up. Uh, but shit, man. I'm saying it's true, dude. Get this stuff on your walls, dude. Friends are going to come over. You got something to talk about. Um, riders doing insane things that, man, I never thought were going to be possible on a snowboard, man. You got, you got some legendary moments, dude. Iconic shit going down. And uh, some pretty cool, dude. These prints are the closest you can get to uh, real process photos. And uh, it really shows in the final product that I use. And I've actually researched uh, photo labs all over the world so that, you know, if you live in Japan, you live in Australia, New Zealand, you don't have to pay like $50 for me to ship something to you. You actually are going to pay the same in shipping that someone in America pays because I have a, a lab in Japan. I have a lab in Australia. I have labs in Canada, Europe, um, the UK. I got you all covered. So, so shipping's going to be cheap. Um, the time you're going to get them in is going to be cheap. But most of all, they all use the same Chromira Pro Lab Print process. And it's real photographic C prints, conventional wet process. Um, they're exposed with light, then developed with chemicals. So the prints are completely continuous tone with no dots at all like you see in a cheaper print. If you look at a cheaper print up close, you can see the dots from the printer. These, you do not see that. It looks like an actual photo. Chromira's 300 PPI working resolution is the highest standard image resolution in the industry. To attain even higher image quality, Chromira uses ZBE's patented resolution enhancement technology, which achieves a visual resolution of 425 PPI. Blah, 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 blah. Do you even care? I don't think so. Either do I. All I care is that it looks good. And I believe that the Harvard study is going to make people happy. That's all I care about. So uh, let's get the prints on your wall. Go to www.e-stonephoto.com. Let's put art on those walls. And uh, I'll let you know that every piece of art that goes up in a wall and in some city like NYC, some huge freaking print going out to some loft in NYC, or a little 8x12 going to a uh, dorm in Texas or Oklahoma or 
Serbia, wherever it's going to go. That shit makes me happy, man, knowing that my prints are on these walls. That, that's really cool. I appreciate everyone who's bought a print. Uh, thank you. So, yeah, www.e-stonephoto.com. Bam. Yeah, I had... I, no, I had really white hair. But when you were young, <laughs> when you white hair. Oh, when no. When, hair, when it was colored. When I was younger, no, it was kind of like a dirty blonde always. Dirty blonde. And then, because my grandma, she went full white at like 19. So full I went. White at 19? My grandma, yeah, I got it from my grandma. I got it from my grandma. Yeah, I got it from my grandma. But yeah, my shit's all, I haven't grown my beard out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm all white now. I'm like, whoa. Wow. I'm kind of I'm getting used to the beard look. I'm not used to it yet. I, I look it at myself, kind of right. I I look in the mirror and I'm like, God, dude, I look like a fucking homeless dude. But I'm like, Nah, we're going for that Viking look. I'm well, gonna I, really I want to get it like, get out of that homeless dude. Get it like, treated, like right, tuned. right, yeah. Because I'm like, when I don't tune it, I look like a homeless dude. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. But then you get like a little favor shape. You know, they they look like they're low maintenance, but beards are yeah, high maintenance, bro. Yeah, they're like. Yeah. You gotta like wipe and make sure you don't got like nacho like cheese this, hanging from your shit. Yeah. Nacho cheese, which oh man, yeah. Trying to eat a soup. Oh dog, I tried to eat some soup the other day. Holy shit, bro! I don't think any of it went in my mouth. It all went in my mustache. I was like, motherfucker. Dude, cheese soup is just messed oh up. man. <laughs> yeah, I, everything now I have a straw. <laughs> you use a straw? I use a straw now. That's so sick, dude. But yeah. Yeah, right? Beard man problems. Well, it, star- know, it started with the mustache. Cause I was like, what can I do when I was sitting in Montana? I'm like, what can I do for free? That's you know. And I was like, oh, sick. It gives me something to do. I'll just grow my mustache out. And it's been almost two years. I'm like, you know what? I'm bored with it. Instead of growing that two years? Yeah. And instead of shaving it, because I told, I told Kate, I'm like, I'm not shaving it till cutting it till I see you again. So when you see it down to my feet, you're going to know that no, you're full. Some people <laughs> On their beard yeah, like it stops growing, right? Yeah, so you, like you can hit the bottom basically. Yeah, that's, that's why ZZ Top, that's impressive, dude. It doesn't grow any longer than that, or I think they just never hit the bottom, they keep going. Yeah, that, I mean, that's what I'm trying to. I'm like, I'm not dude, cutting it. That, uh, don't run run down. Down. Dude, you have some nice campfires out where you live, I bet. Yeah, I try to make a campfire every day. That's like really, the, that's like true the thing. story, true story. Yeah, so every day of the summer, I'd since I was working, actually, for once, I could buy food. So yes. it's nice. It's, so it is nice. So it's like, wow, this is what work does. You, you can buy a, shit. You get you a know? paycheck. Because I hadn't made money since Jeff from 2013. So I literally was just this Jeff, just I cruising around for, you, you know. You haven't had a job where you get a no, paycheck. Not, no, not since. Not 2013, since. you had a 10-year run. Mm-hmm. What up? 10 shot. Ten the, shot. the ten so, shot command. So finally, right there, I broke dude. down. I was like, "That's when Connor." I was like, "Okay, I'll go start working." And then at first, ten years, ten years, yeah. And before that, I was really wasn't work. Cause snowboarding wasn't work. I mean, it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. But it's work. But it's, it's not work. Yeah, it's work. But I mean, you work harder than. But than I anyone. like it. I actually yeah. like it. I was so unstructured my whole life that I actually like a little bit of structure. Dude, that's now, what's funny, you know what dude. I mean? Yeah, when you haven't had a job with structure that actually makes you tired at the end of the day. You get in there and you're like, this is awesome, yeah, man. It's so, Everyone else like, is all bitter and you're just like, bro, I could barely lift. When yeah. I first started, I could barely lift up the remote control to change the TV. Afterwards? Dude. Just on the, yeah. just passed out by seven, dude. I was like, oh man. But now, yeah, you're it's so good. Happy, I like though. it. It's like, this is such a nice feeling. It's fulfilling, like, you know? Yeah. It's fulfilling. That's the thing. A hard like day's it. work is fulfilling. It's fulfilling. And then when an you get the paycheck, yeah. yeah, an honest paycheck, bro. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, you get that check, and you're like, yeah. ooh. I was like, oh, shit, what could I buy? So we got the Jeep fix. Sick. What we else? Got, we got some what, what guns. What do you get paid? Once bullets. a week? Once a month? What's the scenario? Well, I haven't, since it's a ranch, and, in, and it's winter, I haven't been getting paid because I haven't been working because we've mm. been chained So what do you do? So unless, so next year, hopefully, I, I'm like What's the job, working, though? Uh, he said he wanted to put me in charge of something like a up on the mountain, you know, like. Well, when last summer though, what was the job? Oh, uh, chopping trees, for? just chainsawing trees. But in the so, summer, you don't because it's for the ranch or whatever. Because it's for yeah, the, it's just. I mean, you can't really. Or in the winter. Yeah, ranch. Anything ranch farm. There's really not much to do in the winter. Yeah. you know what I mean. So he's not paying you to make the runs. Yeah, like, no. So now the, we're testing you get them to out. Shred, though. Yeah, we're shredding, testing them out, and then probably this time next year, hopefully, well, I'll have a winter job. But if not, so how do you get money to eat? Uh, we just don't eat. 
<laughs> <laughs> no, I eat once a day. I've been trained for like since like ten years. We just eat ten like, years of not having a job. Well, be even before that too. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, we just don't eat. I'll drink coffee all day long, True and then story. I'll, I'll yeah, and I'll eat once a day. So it's like I I like it's, it's all self discipline shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you just do once a day, save the money, that save you can the money, live, live just, as mellow as you can. You get some orders. It helps you out. Yep. That's but speaking of that, dude, I got those shades. Oh yeah, here. boom! These are really, really sick. made at the Gucci factory. Players in in Italy, Diamond Don sunglasses. We and did a can, collab. You can tell the quality. He he put the Bose Rec logo over the Diamond Don right here, or they did. They, they it's a, yeah, it's they a collab. Did. The the boy Danny over at Diamond Don. He's he's the homie dude from Wisco. He's like, yo, let's do some let's do some shades, and he's like. So we got these. You guys can't see this back there, but there's like a multicolored Bose Rec logo right here, which is really sick. But um, um, and then their logo over so here. So we did a limited run of those, 300 pairs of shades. But this is a, there's a style that these are called, right? The there, it's like the Ray Ban yeah, kind of Ray-Ban. look. Yeah, there's it's a just, name for that though. I it's, swear it's. Uh, you see, I don't, I don't know. They don't look know the good name. though. Yeah, yeah dude, I, I like this style. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, it looks good on it. Like, and they're made at Gucci, you can bro. The yeah, I can, you can, I can you feel, can the feel it. Yeah, yeah, they're good. They're probably the best shades I've had. Yeah, ever. I was just gonna say that I'm used to the like uh, ten dollar Canal Street, yeah, or five, right? that's, two dollar. That's Canal what Street. I. That's what I used to rock. Yeah, all can, fake gas station the, the specials. Lens, the lens, like you can just tell. The I've quality. already lost three pairs of those. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the how I know they're good. Yeah, because I keep losing them. But yeah, so hook it up, players. I get like forty bucks or forty bucks a pair. Each one sold. They're only. That's what you sell them for. No, they're, oh, they're I think royalty? I think those are being sold retail for 120. 120. And so I I walk away with I think 40 bucks or something. Dude, help the 40 kid or out 60. cuz you're getting a good quality product. It says Bozrek. And uh we got goggles made. There's only 100 of those wow, and then that's gogs. What color are the gogs? They're just like a bandana print and Sick, then when they come dude. with two lenses, like an Do orange. Do you have lens. an image you can send over that can pop yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, it's up on my Instagram at @bozrek. What's your Instagram at Bozrek? At Bozrek, B O Z W R E C K. So peep that. Um, and there's probably a link to the shop, but yeah, yeah. goggles. And there's only 100. I'm sure it's probably a limited only time. Yeah, we've those. already sold. Like, I know we've sold like half, like, I don't know about half, but we've, sold, we've been selling some. So. Dude, help the kids sell out, man. Let's, let's get those bought, dude. I mean, you know? You're going to have a pair of shades that is never going to be made again. They got that classic Bozong fucking artistic that, touch. Got that name brand, bro, dude. Yeah, People dude. see you in line with that shit. They're like, oh, dude, you well, on that, that Bozrek shit? That's a fact, though. All that over the world, fact. there's that a certain a, a certain person that's going to see those that is going to trip out. There, no matter which country you're in. It's there. It's it, it's there. It I've, I've seen it, man. Like, there's a certain group of people that are just like, "Wow, dude, yeah. you got that? Where'd it's, you get those?" It's kind of like 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 a sneaker type thing. Yeah, you know it's like I mean? Goon Gear too. It's the same thing. Yeah, there's same a, there's thing. a certain kid that's gonna be like, "Dude, you gotta know everything. about it for one." And yeah. then, you know, I just look at it it's like you gotta be. It's like a good drug dealer. You don't know until you know. You know, dude, that's what you need is a Tanya. Like Goon, oh, <laughs> Goon has Tanya <laughs> that keeps it straight and and makes it so he can have a company. Yeah, right. You, I, I mean, I need some. I mean, I need to figure some now. You know, well, it's it just, it's a lot of work, dude. It is a lot of work. I ain't trying to put into work and run around anymore and talk well, it's to just, everyone. It's impossible and... to do everything. You need someone that's you need a team to do. Yeah. You yeah. need a team. Dude. You need a team. You need a good like, team. Otherwise you just can't, there's not enough hours in the day. And I, I just have some from my last company that I just got so screwed. It's like, it screwed me. I've, I have like a, what do they call it? Like PTSD. What? No, not really that, but what's a it brand? Called? I got it too, it's like, dude. Like when you uh, when you get so screwed by a chick or something that you won't you don't like pretty much what you just don't date anyone That's anymore. That's why I just, I just say it's like, PTSD, dude. PTSD. All right, yeah. I'll go with that, dude. I got mean, some PTSD. dude, you're scared, bro. Yeah, it's like I'm, I don't really don't want to like sign papers or anything anymore you and don't just have it. Fucked t- again. Yeah, you know, she's my French. It ain't that fun, dude. I've grabbing I've, your ankles, bro. Yeah, I've been jerked <laughs> at like four different companies, dude. It's like a, you know, yeah. It's like. You know, like one of them, someone was stealing money, a family member stealing money out the back door. Dude. Damn, like, that's are crazy. you kidding me, bro? Yeah, business. And then there's, there's certain businessmen that uh, they actually think it's a game, dude. They got money. No, it and, is. And that's for the... them, the, they don't care about the money. The game is to get yeah, one over on you. It's about doing shit that other people can I get can't one do? over on this dude? Exactly. I mean, that's what we're seeing with, it, with the whole governments and everything yeah. right now. And everyone's just... I mean, shit's wild right now, bro. It's a crazy time to be alive. I'll tell you that much. That is true. You know? It's, it's actually a really insane time to be it's alive. It's insane, bro. Like, literally, the fact people, that we can make gear. We're making gear. People are talking about dropping nuclear bombs. There's, like, wars everywhere. Who's we're, talking about dropping nukes, dude? I mean, I watch a lot of the fucking the World crazy War news. stuff. Well, because my special lady friend's Russian, so my that's special why... special lady friend. My special lady friend's Russian, so I keep... 
Oh, clip. she's up in the. Yeah, dude, her, my her French family's dog, my Russian. French bulldog's Ukrainian. So oh, I'm, well, I'm yeah. All up in so it you too, know, man. they're yeah. up in it. You dude, know? we you haven't been able to get a hold of their the the French bulldog farm. Really? I call it a farm. And they're from what Ukraine? Yeah, we got them from Ukraine, um, right in the main city there. Oh, 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 what's the main city? I forget the name. What Kiev? Yeah, Kiev. Um, they have a huge. They've been like breeding French bulldogs for like a decade. Really? Dude. And we have they haven't updated their website. Well, you know why you haven't got a hold of them? <laughs> dude, I'm trying to I'm trying to be they got positive, nuked, bro. bro. I'm trying yeah. to No, be I know. I, I don't want to joke about that, but that shit's crazy. His family know? line might have been wiped out, dude. Yeah. I mean, Luna, how how far back you, in dog. history do you go? You know what I mean? I mean, they're, I thought they were all Russian. I, mean, I don't dude, know. For, I mean, no, for real, that's the truth. You they, know, like they, uh, I look at it, it's like it's like if Texas they've been bottling, succeeded, battling back and forth. Yeah, I think it's something like that. It'd be like if tes- Texas succeeded and then U.S. wanted it back, and they're yes. fighting. It's kind of the same thing. Dude, Estonia was all up in that. Yeah, I mean. I, I love history and all archaeology and all that shit. Like, I'm actually kind of a history buff, so I really? love all that. Yeah, I love all that shit. But, yeah, it's cool to pay attention to all that stuff, you know? Dude, the... the History's fucked, dude. They've, they're they definitely taught us some shit that... Not true. Yeah. I, they dude, just I leave a lot of 100%. shit out, dude. Someone was saying, what, the winner of the wars gets to write the history? Yeah, basically. exactly, yeah. And, and the, the family lines can basically write it how they want yeah. to, like, boost up their families. Just how they're like deleting like in your Instagram account or something because and they don't want that to be. Think when that back something. in the day they're like, oh, we don't want that book out or we don't want your yeah. family to even exist anymore. You never even hit them. Yeah. Like there's a ding ding ding. Yeah, dude, history's crazy, bro. It's well, just dude, all wars and fucking pillaging and. Ah. I'll, this is crazy, dude. And some people are gonna think I'm crazy for even saying it. Um, I don't want to get put on that list that I'm one of those crazy conspiracy theory people. Yeah. Oh, I'm but, one of them. I am too. But <laughs> so my wife um, buys and sells books. She yeah. sells books fucking everywhere right now. Right? We have like a thousand books here. Oh, hell yeah. Um, and it's sick, dude. It's an awesome business that only she could do because she's such a fast reader and is so into it. But she buys like like uh, first editions. Yeah. You know? they're, they're like they, they're special books. You got to research what is the points that make it a first edition. And, yeah. and sometimes they'll say it's a first edition. You get it, and it's not actually a first edition. It's like a thing. Yeah, it's, it's a thing. Yeah, it's dude. like and a thing, like how we like There's to, collectors, and yeah. dude, she'll buy a book for like 20 to so like This year, you backflip 50 yeah. stairs, it's not 49. Like you know, oh, this year, page, they, they wrote... Page 56 has, a, has an error in it. Did that, you see that punctuation <laughs> yeah, he used? It's just like he that. Used, <laughs> he used the... <laughs> No, but that's sick. But though, like Dune is hitting hard right now because it's on the movies. Like yeah. uh, well, Isaac Asimov's hitting because of Foundation. But dude, she'll buy a book for twenty dollars and sell it for three to five hundred. Really? It's it's crazy. Yeah. Well, my book's about to come out for my cousin Josh. Oh, from, for real? He so yeah. What up? Fist of, or, uh, When's Foster, that dropping? It's called Foster Literary. Him and his wife started it. They're both uh, PhD writers. I need great to get a first writers. Edition, dog. Yeah, I'll get you a first sign. Edition. Sign. So yeah, Josh. What up? So what Josh. Up, Josh? Josh Foster, my cousin, he's been writing this book for like 10 years, dude. If you don't drop it soon, bro, like after this, come on, bro. Dude, let's drop it. Let's drop it. Let's but drop yo, it. We, get your, we get your wife to order them. I mean, let's go. that's so that, I mean. No, I want to hold And that's going to have all the crazy edition, stories because that's like he spoke Spanish, right? Like uh. and when I was stuck in Colombia and motherfuckers were like bombing out in front of my hotel where I was staying. I couldn't even leave my hotel because these skater kids turned on me like. What do you mean they turned had, on you? I had to take... My cousin spoke Spanish, so he was the one talking. They extorted me in my passport, so oh, they were trying no. to get me... They had my passport. They just turned on me like... They were How my can friend. we make money out of this They guy? were my friend, and then next thing you know, I get knocked out by a motorcycle helmet, and I'm like bloody everywhere, and then everything went to shit. But, uh... So, were they just trying to get money from you? Yeah, extort me. Straight up extort me, whatever. I mean, that's, but, that's what happens. So he got involved. He spoke Spanish. He had to get the hotel involved. And then there's like, it was so crazy, bro. They this straight is, up got the authorities. Oh, yeah. And then when I went to leave, I'd, I'd been in Colombia too long. Oh, I've been shit. there a yeah, year, you can only bro. Stay too long. I was there a amount. year, and you're only supposed to. I'm like, oh, I'm a typical gringo American. I was like, oh, yeah, we could stay six months, blah, blah, blah. But they're like, Colombia is one of those spots where you, yeah, every month you got to check in to DOS. Yes. China's like that every yeah. three months, I think. Yeah, so maybe. Or yeah, month. usually it's three months. Dude, new player to the scene, and I'm stoked about that. We got Booger Reds Wax. Um, what up now, dude? The uh, we got the boogies in there too, dude. It's a nose, giant nose, dude. I don't know if you guys uh remember the Humpty Dance video back in the day. Just kidding. That's probably more 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 like it, dude. 
uh, little guys. But anyways, dude, wax. Do you guys wax your board? Because uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, you don't want to be that slow guy back of the pack, man. You uh, let's, let's say it goes from a cold day to a warm day or vice versa. Conditions change. Your board gets beat up after a big session. Um, and you're that dude that doesn't take care of it. Uh, you go into a new season, you got dust on it. You're right up at Mount Hood, you get oil on your base. You get weird, weird stuff happens. Um, and there's nothing worse than that guy. I know from shooting photos, there's nothing worse than that guy on a trip who can't hit the features as good as the next guy because they're bored isn't fast enough and uh do you guys you know you pay a lot of money for your lift tickets you pay a lot of money for your passage your equipment don't have your day be ruined because you're not taking care of your equipment dude wax dude this this bad boy is two dollars and fifty cents on the website and i'm about to give you a 10 percent off code at the end of this ad i'll give it to you right now stony buds 10 10 percent off stony buds 10 capital s and uh, that looks like about it. Capital S, Stony Buds, 10, 10% off. This is $2.50. Or get the shop package. You get two of these bad boys. Um, I believe that's $20. You can also get a pack of like 10 of these or 20 or something. But go to the website um, and check it out. But don't be that slow dude. Wax your boys' boards. Get the big kit. Get the little kit. Get a bunch of them. Though. You're going to want them. You're, once you wax up, you're going to want to stay waxed up and wax every night dude be that fast dude be that dude known for speed but anyways hashtag slick as stony bud snot and uh post a photo of a nose and a funny scenario i don't know be creative dude uh just post some some noses in random spots i'm gonna pick a winner dude and that winner is going to get a uh, package from me and trust me it's gonna be worth a lot more than a two dollars and fifty cents or the twenty dollars for the double pack it's going to be uh, well worth it. So I'll, uh, I'll pick a winner, say, uh, in a month. That gives you time to uh, order your noses and uh, get busy, dude. Get creative. And uh, let's see who wins. But yeah, yeah, I'm sure China's probably a month. Yeah. Yet. But they're you like, yo, what are you, you doing here? You have to like, leave for a day or even a minute. They they made back. me leave and yeah. I had to make a flight. I had to go to DOS, go talk to all. It, like they were They were pissed, bro. Dude. But my cousin got me out of that. And so, I mean, that's just one of the stories. stories I mean, that it, are in the book it, he's been kind of detail. paying attention through the years. That's sick. So, dude. it's going to be all the crazy wildness, you know? But, like, so we'll see. Yeah, dude. I'm, that sounds So, we got awesome. that going. When, we don't know when it's going to drop. I mean, it's he's he's got it done, and they're just revising it. You know, he was working you on it when a, I was uh, there. A publisher is that what you're looking no, for? No, they have they have a publisher. They, they they're their own publishing unit now. So oh, they, they have a they it's publish Foster, books. Foster Literary, Literary. Dude, so what's yeah, the out, book of, out, of, out of Idaho. So hopefully soon it should come out. But we got that going. Do we know the name? We got close. Yeah, it's gonna be called uh, a <laughs> Send It for the Sunset Sunset Shot. Send it for the sunset. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> when we were younger, he had a shot. lisp, and we could oh, never can say, say it, and I can never say it. So it's send it for the sunset shot. But since we both can't say it, you that's, say that good, dude. Well, I've been practicing. Send it for the sunset shot. Send, send it for the sunset shot. I can't really get it. Dude. Well, my dog's named Sasha too, so I'm uh, always like Sasha, 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 Sasha. 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 I like that name, and uh, I'm you know as a photographer, I wait for that sunset shot. Yeah, that sunset shot. Yeah. So back to the books, dude. So yeah, we got that coming out, um, and so then hopefully a movie. My boy Simon, he said he would play me when a movie comes out. Really? So we got plans. Why don't you just play yourself? I'm not an actor, bro. I can't. I can't <laughs> act. <laughs> not even yourself. Uh uh. Uh uh. If it's something like that, I've tried, You'll be standing dude. There. I've, You're I've, gonna stand there in the set and be like, "No, that wasn't it. That's that wasn't right, bro. It's not the emotion I had. I chain smoked those splits. <laughs> no. You need to smoke." More, yeah, more, more smoke. more smoke, and you have to actually smoke. You more smoke, this role. less fucks given. Bozrak, bro. Let me tell you what I learned in the conspiracy realm. What? The truth? No, the truth. <laughs> um, so there's, she gets all these old books. I have books yeah. that are hundreds of years yeah, old. Yeah. In this, not these. These are kind of the throwaway. Um, but there's, I have like a, a one book that's like three hundred years old. In really? Here and you get them, you're just like, dude, this is insane. Really? So you know that all that stuff around. Uh, Manifestation, the secret, and all that. Yep. So, she gets all these occult books because they okay. sell. They sell yeah, really yeah. well. Um, and certain amount of time ago, like witches and all that shit, right? Uh -huh. The government. So there was a time when educated people like Thomas Edison, um, 
very rich people or, or very smart people that yeah. like did stuff that we all back and use today. There was a time when they were writing books on the occult oh, and yeah. talking about it, like it, like the whole thing with the the guys that were able to turn lead into gold or yep, whatever. The alchemists. Alchemist. Yep. So they were writing that this was like a real thing, no bullshit. Like it wasn't science fiction and magic. There was good magic oh, and yeah. bad magic oh, and. Yeah. And uh, so I started looking into these books, and it's the same thing as The Secret. It's all the same exact thing, but told a different way and called something different. And what happened was the government shut it down. Really? And started putting propaganda out that it's, it's uh, you know, like, it's all Satan. It's bad. Oh, yeah. And I mean, it's, it's like Ouija boards, that shit. They turn that into a joke. I found a book about the planchette, which is that... the. The, the thing that you push. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like a full science book on that that he tested with his family and wrote about everything that happened with the year they were testing it. And it wasn't even a Ouija board. That became afterwards because the government made it be like this thing that they put in as a toy. Really? It's not real. And if you say it's real, you're crazy. Yeah. And it, they just basically steered everything, everyone away from it. The witches that were doing the actual real manifestation, all the pagan shit they all put the... them in the water and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and put stones on a them. A duck! <laughs> yeah. So they basically <laughs> turned everything into a big joke, and if you follow it, you're crazy. No, I know, 100%. And, yeah. and then they shut it down, and I guess for like 50 years, 100 years, anyone who talked about it was crazy, and then all of a sudden, manifestation. Yep. And it starts coming back. So I found all these books where it's called different things, but it's the same yeah, exact the same content. Thing, yeah. And, and uh, what's that? Just putting trip. out good what, whatever energy oh. you put out. That's what you kind dude, of get it's, back. It's nuts, dude. This one dude, basically, the easiest way I found it outlined for me was this. You can't see electricity, correct? Yeah. You can't see Wi-Fi. No. You also can't see creative energy. And no. that's manifestation. There's enough for uh, everyone out there. Yeah. You just got to grab yours. Yeah, you got to ask for it. You yeah. got to tap in. You yeah, just got to grab this thing that can't be seen, but your mind can control it. Um, just like Wi-Fi, just yep. like, and and once you start doing it, and it's the same thing as praying, but you're just exactly. praying yeah. to. That's why the church, you know, the church actually still harnessed it their own way, but you can do it your way, and it's just your higher power, the universe, whatever. You don't have to be religious, um, but you tap into the energy, boom, it's, it's like yours. Avatar, just try yeah, it. yeah. That's why I like nature and shit and, so much. And you, you tap did in. it, dude. You did it. From when you were 16, dude, I want to be a snowboarder. Like, I'm yeah, going to be mean, a snowboarder. I, I have I'm going to do this trick. I have a writing from when I was, like, four. And you could barely, I can barely even write. And it's like, I want to be on a ski resort. Yeah. And blah, you, blah, blah. And I'm like, holy shit, that intention. is literally what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm like, it's going to be a ski resort. Like, you know? You were doing it. Yeah. You set your intention. You made it happen. And, and here you are. And it's like, if people, you just, just don't think it's bullshit and don't be negative, there it is. Follow the golden rule. Yeah, Treat exactly. Treat other people how you want to be treated, and everything's going to be gonna okay. You're going to go. Exactly. 100%. Now, and there is an evil side of that. You can yeah. use it for evil. But oh, 100%. that's not going to work but out for you in the long run. That's the... I mean... Dude, it's crazy. You, you could get, go down so many rabbit holes with this dude, type of stuff. she has books here that Man. tell you how to... Uh, Bro, the Anunnaki. To sell your you got sell, all this soul to the devil. She has a book that outlines how to do it. Really? I was just watching I put this thing last night on the, the book of the devil. It's like the devil's Bible or something. Yeah, dude, but I then think we have that here. Are you? No, bro. There's no way. Do you probably have a copy dude, of it? Dude, we have some wild shit. Oh, the I'm devil's sure. grimoire, it's called. There's yeah, one. yeah. You know what it is. Yeah. Dude, I had to put it out of the house because we got it. There you go. Some wild shit was happening. Like negative well, shit started going on. Well, that's on. what I'm saying. Is there's energies for good and bad stuff. You yeah, know? vibrations. So I, I don't watch horror movies. I try and keep all my shit positive. I'm watching yeah. stuff. It's like nature or, well, lately I've been watching war stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a reality, yeah, it's a, dude. The shit's gonna play. happen. I mean, it's just fun, dude. Like, do you even have TV up there? No, but I, I have my little my iPad that I watch. You do. Up. I'm just I pay. You guys don't get Wi Fi. I pay six. Well, I didn't have Wi Fi until I got into my boys' spot. Yeah. And then they have Starlink, so it's like I'm like full bars. Like, well, Starlink's ready like to go. satellite style. For a year, I didn't. I'd be like pulling up to McDonald's, doing that whole doing shit. Just, I think I talked to you once at a McDonald's. Yeah. You were I mean, like, I drove to New York and back with no Wi-Fi, no phone. Just, just all right, let's roll. Doing bro. your thing. Let's, let's, let's make it work, dude. What happens if you uh, run out of cash or something? You just make it work, bro. You make it work. I, do you know what I'd always tell myself though? I'm like, yo, at least we speak the Eng at least we speak English. Like, I've been stuck in different countries. Where I didn't know the language, I didn't know anyone, but yeah, like, yo, bad. we're here, yeah. we made it. Um, That's what I'd always think. I'm like, we've we've done way worse. Have you, you ever got this. in a scenario where you're like, fuck, am I gonna get out of this? 
Uh, or has it all been okay? Columbia was pretty heavy. The one you were telling me about? Yeah, that one was pretty when people heavy. people are waiting outside New your York, garage to beat you up. Yeah, New York, I've had a couple crazy incidences, but... No, we we've been pretty. I was I was always like a good dude, you know, always fun to be around. I was yeah. never, you know, that's why I have a lot of friends and, but I I think I put out that positive vibe scenario. You know, like we all go through shit. You know, like I've gone through getting, getting sober. Like I think I lost a couple friends. I go a little ham on fucking Instagram because yeah, you, you got to be careful which route you go down because you can get sucked in. Like you're talking about. Next thing you know, you're in fucking a cult or yes. some shit. You yes. know what I mean? So. You gotta like be very you careful. Gotta, like, yeah, be, keep your really, eyes open and don't get sucked. You know, in don't believe everything. Just yes. take everything with a grain of salt. Just kind of soak shit up. Never stop learning. You can you go know. on the internet, and if there's a weird thing, bro, you can have all the proof you want. Oh, if you want exactly. to find it, but then you'll find all the proof the other way too. Exactly. So it's, like, so it's all the same shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I look at it like remember the movie uh, Fifth Element? Yes, love that. Remember movie, when dude. she finally gets a hold of the internet and she starts going through it all and she does it the whole and then she's just she's so bombed. She's yeah. like, Look. I'm like, yo, that's about to go down with the AI, bro. And like we're about to get fucked up. Dude, AI is wild, huh? But I say bring it. I say bring it. Let's go. Do you ever mess with the AI art? I don't can... mess with any of the AI no, shit. That I, shit I... freaks me. Well, Actually, today I take that back. Today they, you know, when they your shit pops up and they make an edit for you. Yes. <laughs> so I'm like, Dude, I'm like, I'm like, let me just see what they got, yeah. you know. And I'm like, holy shit, I didn't. I like ended up posting it because I'm like, I didn't have to do anything. Was it, it a video the, edit or a photo? A edit? video edit. And Damn. It, it edited. It. I mean, I I would have probably cut a little shots different, but yeah. it still did it all. But it, it did a pretty good. It, job. it took 20 minutes down to 1:30 in, in like literally 30 seconds. And it just pulled from all your footage. Yeah. Well, I picked like 20 shots, and it was probably like 20 minutes. And I was like, and then it's like, yo, and it was a put, Mac, so, put Mac song it to it. Who did it? What was that program? It was actually Instagram. It's Instagram, did it. yeah, dude, it's crazy. Man. It's fucked, bro. It's like, how does it know the right clips to pick? It's nuts. I, I mean, we all know, dude. You'll be talking with your boys mm. or something. The next thing you know, this you're seeing dope. ads. Yeah, you're seeing ads for what you just thought about. I'm like, yo, dude, we're fucked. These computers are smart. Yeah, we're fucked, we're bro. Fucked, dude. We're fucked, dude. Someone, I think, Johnny O'Connor, bro. We're fucked. <laughs> what is he? <laughs> is he into that? <laughs> um. Elon Musk was quoted saying, "Like I think he's the devil, bro." Someone someone said that that he could be created to to mess with everybody. But there was a quote saying, "Like the genie's out of the bottle. There's no there's no putting it back." No, and we're, talking to AI, about AI. I mean, they're already tricking humans. They're like saying, "They're like you know the robot. Are you a robot?" And it will say, "No, we're not. A, like we're fucked, dude." Yeah, this is what with. Dude, it's so like much. the Terminator story. Like, already. I mean, there's like Antarctica <laughs> stuff. There's the moon yeah. stuff. There's flat Earth. There's like all the people in history that like Charlemagne that took out supposedly like 300 years. So we're not. But not AI really. is already like it's just here though. That's we got not the, like we got the moon eyed like, people that came over with King Arthur the Second. You know the Welsh because the, supposedly Welsh Indians that were here before even the the, Damn, dude. the American Indians. You're up on your game because the Cherokees. What's up with the spaghetti thing? What's oh what the. Spaghetti theory, or yeah, there was like something I was researching about you, and so oh, oh, up. well, that's when I was dealing with my court shit, and I was like, yo, you, uh, well, fuck, what was it? I paid like sixty five bucks, and I became a minister. Oh, yes. so it was the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Like, you it's a real that, or no, that it's was someone thing? else. Someone else created it. It's like one of those parody religions, and you, so you became. But in the state of Utah, they they allow you to be able to marry people because it's like a real religion, you so know. You and I people. I wanted to do it so I could wear my hat during my driver's license because <laughs> you're allowed to wear it, like you know. But it's and, just some stupid. Were you I like to? to, I like doing stupid shit like that. You were know? you able to wear your hat? Well, no, because my license is in Montana now. Oh, so, yeah. it, it only worked in the state of Utah. That's now, so crazy. Now I'm a Montana boy. You're you're actually a Montana <laughs> resident. Yep. Damn. Hell dude. yeah. I it's, love Montana. It's just I don't have a, a network that I have here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I mean you have family here and stuff, right? Yeah. When your brother live here? My bro my two brothers, you my two sister. Brothers. I have two brothers, a little sister, my dad, they all live here. They all live here. And then my aunt and then and then my aunts in Malibu, then all my other family, my mom's nice sides in Malibu, Idaho. Dude. Yeah. That's why you were up there skin and tates. Sk yep. sk skin and taters up yep, there. Yep, exactly. Yeah, Utah's your spot, dude. Mon yeah, yeah, I like Utah. I I literally tried to go everywhere else after shit went down with my ma's and because I never thought I'd come back to Utah. Really? I was kind of against it. Yeah. You're I was like, gone. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I fell back in love with it when I was staying with my mom. And then even after that, after the bomb hole, I yeah. kind of was like Oh, I went to Cali, I went to Oregon, I went to Montana, and nothing's the same. Like, you pull it here, and it's just like, ah, oh, I love it here. It's your spot. 
Yeah, it's cool. That's where you learn how to snowboard and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and we got mountains. We got city. You know, it's like it's, a... For outdoor stuff, it's the best state with the coolest people. It'd be nice if opinion. we had an ocean. What's that? If we had an ocean, it would be kind of tight. Yeah, just wait till that... Yo, <laughs> yo they're making <laughs> a... Sutton, oh, yeah, what you were talking they're about. They're making a wave pull up at that spot. Just wait, dude. We're getting a wave pull in Utah, bro. Paddle battles. Dude, You're that's, not allowed. that's going to be crazy. Yeah. So I... <sighs> Yeah, so I'm hoping cool, I can just dude. stick in there and Thomas keeps hiring me. Is and, everything uh, cleared out from uh, the trouble you got in? Everything's cool. We're, we beat all my cases. Bozong's just straight 100%. One of, the the case got citizen. thrown out. The other one, I, I took a plea deal, and that's why I'm still rocking my guns. So everything's legal. Oh, yeah, because they wanted you to They want to take that well, you're, you're not allowed, away from you. Yeah, if you're a felon, you're not allowed to have a gun. So yes. I, and I got mine dropped, and that's why I went to jail for a month. Just so I got them dropped to misdemeanors, so just so I could keep my gun. So what? What jail were you in for? Oh, uh, just Park City. Oh, know? that's probably better than. Yeah, it's one of the nicest ones. I'm not even gonna say it's ghetto. It was like nicest ones in the whole Are fucking country. It's yeah, nice. bro, it's so nice. They were telling me I was in there with my boy Monkey. Yeah. What was we're, his name? Yeah, I was in there with this boy Monkey. I walked in and we we're because Park City's one where. It's a when dudes are coming out of prison, like they're kind of that's a halfway oh, type dude. Halfway so point. they put me in with all the white boys, and I was with all these dudes. They're just straight out of prison, right? They're just on their way to, to different spots. Yeah. And I walk in there, and I was like, "Oh shit, here we go." Okay, yeah, here we go. And I and the, this guy walks up to me. He's like, "Yo, what's your name?" Well, Nate. He's like, "Yo, I'm Monkey." And he's like, "Yo, you look like a skater. You ha- you happen to know a dude named Miles?" I think that's his name, Miles. What's, it was something weird like that. He's a Provo skater kid. I'm like, yeah, I fucking know him. He rides for Milo. My brain is freaking out, but thank God for him because right off the bat, he did gave me his coffee. He gave, no, I actually really didn't oh, know him. Did. I, I've, I've heard of He's a sponsored skater, like one of the Provo kids. But so yeah. you were in? Yeah, I was in like Flynn right off the bat, so it was pretty <laughs> cool, but you know. Would, would there have been trouble? But I was sitting in jail. I'm like, this is fucking easy, man. They feed you three times a day. It's just boring. I'm like, dude, dude if you lived in the streets, I feel like jail... Jail's great. It's jail like, might you know, be a nice alternative. It's, you're you're in a little close quarters sometimes, but I mean, they feed you three times a day. It's you it's weren't good. in prison. You were in jail. I was in jail, yeah. not prison. I beat the prison case. They say Thanks. prison's even better. You have jail's more, worse because yeah. you you just sit there in the pod. Prison, I guess, supposedly I've never been, in, but you have more more freedom to you go. You can about. go and do stuff. You can sew. You can get a yeah. job. You can, you like, can be sewing twenty four seven up yeah, in there, not twenty four know? seven, but at least twelve hours. So thank God we beat those cases and we're on best behavior right now. Food was you know? okay. Food is all right, yeah. Food is that everyone was cool in there. No fights. No. Did you see any fights? No, because they kind of already separated us. Uh, so yeah. All the, all yeah, the they do right people. away. They eye you up. Yeah, all the amigos they kind of figure out. So that's why there was just all the white guys. Your and tattoos all the though probably threw them for a little loop. Yeah, but after after a while, everyone kind of gets it. They're like they hear my voice and they're like, yeah. oh, he's one of those kids. I remember. When they were like checking me in though, and I'm like, I didn't realize it, but it says YOLO, and there's a little bag right there. Oh shit! I don't know if you can see it, but I was I like, see it. I'm sitting there, and they eye up all your tattoos. Yeah, and the cops sitting there, and he's like, "Hey, nice YOLO tat," and I'm like, "Oh yeah, sick, right?" And then he's looking, and right next to it's a little bag, and I'm like, "Oh, oh yeah, that's a painting. It's a mountain." <laughs> but how I look at it, it's a mountain. Yeah. But I mean, <coughs> yeah, it was a bet, you know. Okay. Dude, that's crazy. Dude. But yeah, the, so yeah. I mean, we've been, it's been... And so what, they kept you, they keep you separated from other gang, uh, people that might they be They said they keep and, the gangs in the, in, it's all se- segregated yeah. in jail, you know? I don't know, it's different in every county, but I think that one, we were, it was just a bunch of white boys in there, and yeah. everyone... Mountain jail. There was, yeah, exactly. There was two... I heard that new prison's kind of sketchy. I mean, all the prisons are sketchy as shit, you know? Even jail, I, I could see where shit goes down, you know? Like, one time I slept in... And Monkey and them were just fucking with me, and they, like, went to, like, they, like, I don't know what they did. They, like, he's like, oh, is it going to put the pillow over your head? They kind of just shook me to wake up, and, and when I woke up, they are like, standing over me, and I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. He's like, oh, we didn't want to do the pillow over you, because he's like, we didn't really know you. You didn't know if we were going to start swinging on yeah, us. Yeah, dude. But Some I was people like, might instantly go for it. There, there's a lot of free time in there where a lot of shit can go down, you know what I mean? And the, That's true. Is all you have is free time. Yeah, it's just free time, and there's, you know, so thank God we got out of all that bullshit, and we're keeping it crispy. Dude, and, good for you, dude. I mean, you know. That's got to feel Sometimes good. You, yeah, it feels real good. It's uh, Like I said, it's the best trick I've ever done, and I'm still doing it. You know what I mean? It's still that same going feeling. Down. Every night and every morning I wake up, all right, another day, let's get it, you know? I like where you live, dude. You're away from a lot of trouble, you know? 
Well, because I'm still human, you know? Like, if you, if I surround myself with, like, if I, my friends go into the bars or, you know what I mean? Like, I've done it. Like, you eventually it starts wearing on you and you start thinking about it. And, and then it's not a big deal. And yeah. Next thing you know, you're relapsing and you're I'm fucking puking. The, you know? It's Especially just not Especially when you're talking alcohol. So, and, and I, I'm a, a pretty wild kid. And, you know, snowboarder, skateboarder kids are pretty wild. And so all my friends are wild. So I just kind of... You you're know, only human, dude. If you do fall, just you know, wipe yourself off and... And go straight, but yeah, I'm, because you know, you get back on the horse, yeah. you know. You You've got a long time though, man. I feel like you're past it, yeah. But still, I find my I like I I sometimes fool myself into thinking that, like, oh, I used to have so much fun, I and could have won. I, I was always with chicks and blah blah blah. And I'm like, no, nope, well, no, nope, you already blew it, dude. You fucked it, so now we're yeah. on a new one. Good you for know? you, dude. What about you still talking to the Russian girl then? Oh, yeah, I talked to her today. She just told me. That my fucking so I made two of those one sixty two powder boards right yeah. and one of, and she was getting it sent down. Well, you said one stuck at customs, right? She they lost it. They lost. They don't even know where her bag is. So now there's only one left. But yeah, that no, sucks, I still talk man. to her all the time. She's, she's you my guys are just friend. good friends now, then, huh? Yeah, she's just my dearest friend. You know, that's so, tight, dude. Yeah. How are you I, gonna meet girls up there in those mountains? I don't meet girls, dude. I'm a monk now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, I mean, I don't. You, I, I ain't you can't trying give to, it all up, bro. I ain't trying to wine and dine nobody, dude. True. Like, hey, it'll she, happen when it's ready to happen. If she wants to come back, she can come back, or you know, if she, I don't even think I'd even let another girl come hang out. But really, I'm, I'm pretty good, you know. Well, you got your I've, dog. I've chased to hang chicks with and, around, and yeah. I've I've lived this crazy life. I'm like, okay, if someone wants to come hang out, they can come see me up in the mountains. I ain't gonna lift a finger. And you, you know, get you can, into it too, though, so it's probably good that way. Yeah, you know, I'm uh, kind of selfish, so I like snowboarding. <laughs> I gave up everything for this shit, you know. So you ride every day. I try to, yeah. Even if even if I don't get a run in, I'll still hike Sasha up and just let to her get ride her down, energy, yeah. and you get something. Yeah. So, any I mean, uh, snurfing up there going on, or just all straight? I, I've tried pow surfing, but dude, it's hard. I don't like. I spent my whole life learning not to fall, and I get on that, <laughs> and I start eating shit, and I'm like, okay, it's fun, but I like I like being able. to... Yeah, you yeah. Know. To do your I thing. like not falling, dude. Any you <laughs> jumping on any handrails ever? No, I, I did one back lip last year, and uh, except Bergside, he's got a little park, but no, it's scary, bro. I'm like, whew. I'm like, we still don't got insurance, so I ain't trying to. <laughs> it's just, Damn, dude. It's the same shit, dude. Just don't fall. But now it's not really worth it to me, you know. I'm like, fuck. We'll do it. Have fun, but you have no <clears> health insurance. I never had health insurance. Oh, but I it's just free, dude. You can get it for free. Well, but you gotta I sign up at the right time. I just passed for this. I so I've never gotten food stamps or anything like that. But I passed for food stamps and <laughs> what up, <laughs> players? I was multi, yo, and multi millionaire, multi millionaire to food stamps. Food stamps. But we don't even go collect them. It's in Montana. I haven't oh, been able Jesus, to make it back dude. to Montana. <laughs> you just so, have a stack of stamps over there. Well, I mean, hopefully, I gotta if I can get back up there, dude. Buy some shit so I can make it back up to Montana. And get my food stamped. <laughs> <laughs> do those I feel like I'm on some lines? ODB type shit, dude. Some old Wasn't ODB bows. on food stamps? Yeah, he was on food stamps riding around in a limo with like 30 kids. Damn, bro. I remember dude. that. I was like, fuck. <laughs> all from different mothers? Yeah, all from different mamas. But you yeah. don't have any kids out there. Me? No, I don't got no kids. Good move. Yeah, I think I lucked out. Damn, I mean, I'm dude. a kid myself, so yeah. that's the thing, you know? Like, At all the traveling you did, what was the, the your favorite stop? Besides, I know you said you like living here was the best, but for, yeah, like, really as far as Aust traveling, I really liked Australia when you I did, used to go I'm, to Australia. Yeah, that place is cool. Yeah, it was cool. Back in the day, it was loose too. You know, I heard it's different now, but oh yeah, I what, mean, I just, just thought the hammer. I just on thought and... if I was in Australia, I'd be surfing or something. People are like you're like taking a run and seeing a wombat. You're like, what the fuck, dude? Like, there's wild shit running around. Yeah, yo, you're not at the top of the food chain there. No. But that was, see, I like that. That was fun. The kangaroos are cool as Japan shit, Japan was cool. Yeah, Japan. kangaroos are cool. Japan's one of my favorite spots. Japan's cool, yeah. I they like probably Japan. liked you in Japan a lot, huh? Yeah. No shit, dude. But, I mean, it was all cool. It's, I mean, it's all, to be honest, a lot of it's blurry. <laughs> so much goes down. It's like, holy oh, shit. I feel like it's just that you, you traveled a lot. It all blurs into one. Pretty you much, like, yeah. Once you start talking about it, stories start popping start in your head. Start pinpointing it in, yeah. and you start going through the memory. And it's probably not blurry because you're partying so much. Maybe. maybe you just got to like kind of focus on it. Yeah, yeah and it comes back, you know. For That's me, kinda... it's just that you go a lot of places, a lot of shit happens. And, and it's like a, it's all the same shit after a while, you know. That's what I say. I'm like, you travel enough, you start to learn that everywhere is the same. 
no matter how cool the view is when you pull up, you'll be sick of it in six months. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you were the dude who stayed. You'd go to a place, the rest of the crew would leave, like we were saying, yeah. and you would just kick it. Yeah, I'd just go out and meet some kids or be with the kid that was on the team. Like, yo, let's let's roll around, and see how the locals do it, you know? Because back in the day when I left the like the church, and I was like, okay, I just want to, I want, I really want to see how people live, and that was my whole thing. Like, and you don't really get that experience unless you dive in and like leave the team, leave. So it was just me and like a homie or me by myself, like trying to figure it out in a different country. Sick. Seeing how the locals roll. Yeah, it was fun, dude. It was cool. It was crazy. Well, that, I wouldn't leave the church. Like, what what are you saying? Well, like, I mean, because I grew up Mormon, right? So you were, so, you were that. I, I mean, I wasn't into it, into it, but I mean, uh, of course, it's just like, you know, you, it's in the back of your head all the time. But did you go to like say to the church, like I'm out, like your parents? and Yeah, I just was like, yeah, I'm going to do the snowboard thing, you know? And uh, and I remember from then, I was like, all right, we're just going to see how people live, you know? See how everyone else does it, because I'm just going to soak everything up like a sponge and... You know, make my make my decision like. at the end. You know, if we make it to the end. You yeah. Know? So we're here right now, and we we do what we do. That's cool. You know? So you would really get embedded and just see what the people are all about. Yeah, what they just eat, leave, what they... leave your past life behind and just see how they they do it. I mean, when I was in Columbia, I was in places that they're like, "Yo, a Gringo hasn't been here in over thirty years." <laughs> Jeez, like we were dude. in the hood, we were doing this shit called Diamond Powder. And then when we went back to get it, the motherfuckers jumped the fence and murdered the fucking dude that we... Dude, there's some crazy shit, bro. There's Damn, some heavy dude. shit that I went through that I was like, motherfuckers don't even know. We still hear motherfuckers. Bozrick! <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, so you're saying you were in some situations that it might have ended out that you weren't getting out of them. But uh, I was just such a good talker, and that's yes. how I rolled, you know? And yeah. people, like, I just was very good at diffusing situations. Instead of being know? that abrasive person yeah. that, like... Well, when you travel, I mean, you travel a bunch, yeah. and especially being American, and you go to other countries, you're kind of on the defense all the time. Yes. You're like, what football team do you ride? You're like, what, football or soccer? Yeah. You know what you I mean? Like, right what do you things. do? Like, you're always kind of, they're always kind of attacking you, right? Like, they want to know all about Like, you. you have it so easy there. Like, for all, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're always kind of on the defense being when you're traveling like you kind of you can't be all like gung-ho like like you're french you know what i mean like, yes like you're <laughs> french <laughs> you can't yeah. come at them all aggressive and yeah exactly ways the way oh wee wee you know so you're kind of on like a neutral when you're traveling you know what i mean you gotta be like you just kind of gotta roll with the punches well, yeah. right so what? yeah the but i mean after a while drop, you, but after a while that you get lost and you kind of gotta pull yourself together and figure out all right, what do I really stand for? What do I really do? What do I love? What, like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's been a rough road, but we're you here. learn a lot about yourself in, <laughs> in those situations, right? Bro, <laughs> <laughs> go, go not talk to someone for four months in the middle of the woods, bro. Dude, dude you'll learn a lot. What was about that yourself. about, dude? That must have been crazy. It dude. was nuts, dude. I was, it was weird even when I first saw like human life. I was like, it was weird, dude. You, it was you, fucking weird. Dude, whenever I'm listening, I like to listen at night to help me sleep. I listen to those like scary stories. I, I listen to those every dude. night, the dogman stories. Yeah, and the dude, all that st- every, I love them. Yo, dude. I love that shit. I don't yep. know why it, why it helps us sleep. There's such, there was a reason what it does. It makes you sleep. I don't remember Just why. Cause, I mean, oh, it's it, like a defense mechanism. So yeah. scary stuff like you want to curl up because well, that's how it was back in the day at night's just kind of creepy you don't creepy. know what's going to go down well and it always you know? seems like the shit goes down out in those places where it does you were. always does did you see yeah. anything weird in montana there i saw i there were some weird noises i saw a couple Windigo. times and i was like fuck i mean that's why i started running around with the gun i was like all right dude and that little nine wouldn't even do anything, dude. It would yeah. just bounce off one of those. Dude, you I, know? But I've decided I'm never going out in the middle of nowhere again, dude. But alone. But you get used to it though, and you yeah. start to love it, you like know. And then you. you then you start to like. Now I'm like, that's kind of why I find myself. You embrace it. Yeah. I, once you get used to it, you realize how good it really is. You yeah. Know? You're not always having to like say why you're doing something or what. You know what I mean? It's like you're just kind of on your. And being, it's tough being out there for four months, no contact. Well, so I put it like, like cause I used to watch, you know, that show Into the Wild, right? Yeah. And you know, so it's all cool. Everyone's like, yo, I'm just gonna leave everything behind yeah. and fuck everything, and that's what I was all about, right? And then I was like, when you go to do it, you're like, oh fuck. Well, the movie he eats the berries and he dies. Yes. But what happens if he wouldn't have died? He, you know, he probably would have left and gone back to civilization. Would, eventually, would have got yeah. out of there. Yeah. He probably would have got the hell out of there. I and, hope so. and wanted to get a cheeseburger. You know, yeah, like exactly. eventually. Because it's tough, bro. Like to do the whole survival mountain, it's hard, bro. Like I tried and it's hard, dude. You got to survive off the land. You, you yeah. You, I mean, you got to know what the fuck you're doing. Fuck. 
Anyways, dude, so you're in Valhalla, the new terrain. Yep. Um, I heard that place is like epic. It, it, yeah, it was it was really epic. I mean, we had three cats, uh, just you know, forty people. Justin Hosnick and and uh, Brad Albert put it together. Dude, Benny was there. Andy Wright, Mike D, Keith Wilson, uh, Whitey. I mean, it was just yeah, my brother was there. And actions just molding endless. together. Dude, that's endless insane, world. dude. What yeah. what board yeah. were you riding? Malibu. Uh, day one, it was we just we did two days. The first day, I was riding the Space Racer. Which is kind of the big swallowtail powder board oh, for sick. you know more wide open spaces and and uh, uh, yeah it was it was super sick the snow was was you know it's it's been lacking up there but it was actually really good they still got us to great snow so first day was yeah more wide open because it was more accessible um, and that yeah that board I, I love that board in powder and then that's like day a, two, a full on uh, swallowtail it's a swallowtail but it's it's a uh, yeah, but it still rides kind of like a normal snowboard. It's kind of it's kind of wild because you're still kind of you can just pivot like turn so fast oh. if you need to. It was it was super sick. And then uh, second day, I rode the Malibu, which is that fifty five kind of it's it's kind of my daily driver. Yes. But because we had it was a little harder to get to the snow the second day. We were riding trees and shoots and all kinds of stuff, and so it was just uh, it was it was a little more nimble, a little faster, a little more maneuverable. Nice. It, yeah. it holds up in that big dog terrain, though, huh? It does. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. Yeah, actually, I mean, I, I rode that thing at Silverton a couple of years ago. Same thing, expecting it to be too small, too short, whatever. And and because I'm used to bigger boards, and it was, it's in, it's incredible. Yeah. Nowadays, they kind of make them that way, huh? So you can ride a shorter board. What size? Yeah, are you riding? That's like that Moonchild, that that Malibu. That's the board I kind of fell in love with three years ago. I never hadn't really even heard of them. You know, mm-hmm. met Ure at a, at Ispo just to link up and see what's up and then they did that uh that tarquin re uh that this uh aggression tarquin graphic re-release and, yeah exactly I, I got to be friends with yure and, and and marcus not the shotgun this oh. is the year before before that okay. the year before the shotgun but we did the graphics for this back in the day so uh and for the shotgun and so we uh yeah kind of connected with those guys they and, were and down to, to send you aboard they knew who you were from twist and those guys know what's up <laughs> yeah you know and uh and now I've just been riding those things. Like I've been riding Moonchild for three years now and turned all kinds of people onto it. You know, I don't, I'm not sponsored. It sounds like I'm, you're I'm sponsored, a, dude. I'm not sponsored. Middle-aged man with no sponsors, but, uh, it sounds like you know, which is a great way to go because then you can ride what you want. That's true. You can <laughs> ride what you want, which it, makes, yeah, it, no, it so means that much more, huh? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, I'll maybe ride other things sometimes, but this, but this is what I've been riding literally the last three years solid dude love it and it's amazing that you're still making it to places like Valhalla and 40 people deep dude i'm so jealous i wasn't there that sounds like the trip of a lifetime well we're going to get in two years that's what i heard you guys are like already signed back up huh we're gonna sign back up you're gonna be on that dude i have to i can't miss that sounds like no for sure too good to be true yeah yeah. Um, (laughs) the lodging dope at that new spot yeah, it's actually you. You stay in Nelson. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah, totally. You don't have to so, heli yeah, in the bald face, huh? You just go. Yeah, you don't have to heli in. You don't have to do any of that. Um, yeah, it was great. Dope brand, good people um, that are passionate about snowboarding, just like you and I are. And uh, it's funny they they uh, originally one of the shapers and uh, creators of the brand made this board behind me, the Malibu, um, for one of his for his cousin, I think. And uh, just wanted to make him a cool custom shape, so he made this board. And it turns out, people were just loving it. Everyone who got on it loved this board. So they were like, we're putting this in the line, and it became the Malibu. They submitted that to uh, White Line's board review um, for 2023-24. This bad boy won one of the top free ride boards of the year, and that's huge. You're going in the ring against, you know, the biggest companies out there with Burton and and, uh, you know, Nitro and Solomon, these guys who have years and years and years of R&D down and, and uh, you know, they've kind of perfected the science. You know, Capita's got the mothership, dude. And all these guys rightfully also have boards in that category that have won awards. But, uh, you know, to sit neck and neck with them is, is a big deal and it just goes to show that this board rips. And if you're looking for a new board, the Malibu is, uh, is the board you're going to want. Grab one. Uh, You will not be sorry. This board, just look at the shape, man. This board just wants to go. 
get that thing in some powder and uh, phew, you're going to have one of those days. One of those days you're never going to forget. Um, check it out, man. I wouldn't steer you wrong. These boards are uh, made top quality by top quality people. And uh, it doesn't get any better than that, man. Support support these guys on the come up, man, because they got big things coming in the future. But the Malibu, Malibu's where it's at right now. Yeah, trap, you got a trap shit. Me, I mean, I, I was not even... Dude, that show Naked and Afraid, dude. I've I've watched not the naked one, but I've watched the alone one. Yeah. That's I just, kinda I wanted to go on that too for a little would bit. Would you? I would go on that for sure, bro. Without a Do you think I you could even, trap? You could trap some shit? It's not that hard. It's really I mean, I always look at it, it's not like doing a double backflip. You know, <laughs> like really there's not that much things that are harder than that like that type of shit. <laughs> or like you know double backflip in the pipe. Ooh, no, yeah, I wouldn't have never. I've that never even dare. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, we keep it. We won't be doing none of that shit. I would rather go trap something for sure. Um, you think then you could skin? Obviously, you could. You got all those skills. To skin the. Food I mean, we we did one grouse this year. Sick. And me and Andy were like, "Fuck, how do we do it?" And we're like looking at it, and they told us how to do it. But that was our first one. He just got his first elk, and he dressed it all down. Him and Grimes, what up, boys? Grimes, Grimes, you know Grimes? Yeah, we've been sailing with Grimes. He does a lot of that, huh? I'll yeah, he up, does a up. lot of hunting. He just gets in there. Rah, rah, I saw footage of him. Yeah, yeah he dude, he's gnarly, it. huh? He's gnarly, yeah. Grimes, Travis just, Wood comes out. And Wood, goes, yeah, what up, Wood? Yeah, he told me he was. Yeah. You know, what is like? No way. Yeah, they go out a lot, dude. Because I've, I've. Not paying attention. I've been out of the snowboard scene, yeah. so it's kind of cool, like seeing. I've been kind of getting back into it slowly but surely, but it's cool, you know. Seeing people. That yeah, I like seeing see. people. Like, hey, what up? What are you guys doing? You know, everyone's kind of doing the same Dude, thing. People probably thought, like, who knows what happened to you when you were gone for four months, bro? Were you like off social media, or you pop? You no, pop I was in. still. I was still able kinda, to get some. Yeah, well, because Tanner had Starlink, so I oh, was. Like you said. I was taking up Mad Dad. I was posting, <laughs> dude. I was. I was probably posting way too much, bro. But I was kind of losing it, but we kept it pretty crispy. Yeah, dude. There's a lot of people I talk to that just follow your shit and are so interested. In, I mean, in what goes on, you know? I mean, I don't know if it's hurting me. It used to. It used to. Do a lot of good for me, but now like this cancel culture, they're kind of like, "What the fuck?" But you, I don't, gotta, you know, it's cool. I don't. I you don't really do anything that's worthy of getting canceled. You just gotta be you. But you know, I talk about shit it. sometimes, but I've been working on it. You yeah. know, I'm sorry if I talk shit to you guys. You know, we're we're working on it. You know, you'll, you'll talk it's shit gonna, on on the on the gram. You'll. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll talk. I was talking some shit like because uh, like because I guess I'm kind of like hardcore snowboarder and I was like talking some shit because everyone I see now is riding ski companies and I'm like, yo, what happened to the hardcore snowboarder? <laughs> but I get it. You need a paycheck, Dude, right? You it's know, tough so, out there for people. And I know it's tough, you know, so I get it. You know, I ain't hating on nothing, but, you know, there's still room for. So some, you guys are getting into it about that? He was just like, I got to do it. I was just kind of talking shit on a lot of people. But uh, like it's like posting up Solomon rollerblades. And I was like. <laughs> But I mean, then well, I was like, that dude, I'm true. Really, that's a truth. But then at the at the end of the day, I really don't give a shit what yeah. you do. As long as you get a smile on your face and you ain't fucking with me, then we're good. You that's know? so true. I don't dude. really care what you do. That's so true. You know, let so, people do their thing. Let like, people do their thing. Let me do my thing, and we're yeah. good. You There's know? no reason to come after people. Yeah, nah. So what's next, dude? What's what are your moves? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just get I this pretty much haven't open. changed since day one, dude. Since I was like five, so we'll just keep it trying to shred. Since I was five, yeah, that's you, when I started skiing. That's so. when you got this first tattoo. No, that was. <laughs> <laughs> I went for two, but I only got what one. What was your first tattoo? Uh, the stars. The stars on my arm. You remember Galen Justice? Oh, yeah, yeah dude. Galen gave me those. Yeah, dude. What up, Galen? What? Uh, he's still yeah, Shane Sweet Justice. Needles. Yeah. Sweet he's, needles, yeah. He's still doing this, dude. So he gave me a, my. So those are all, like a couple of my only real tattoos is from Galen because all wow. my other ones are just like kind of shitty from myself or whatever. You, know? you should have got some in jail. I know, right? I, I did do a, I did do probably, a big old Bojack tag on my bench, and they're like, sick. "Oh, don't!" Monk's like, "Don't do that, or you have to come." I was like, oh, especially I didn't in know Park that. City, dude. Yeah. It's like, what happens if you do it? Supposedly, there's some rule like if you graffiti on like in jail or something. Like, there's some phrase oh, he said no. like if you. If you do it, you'll be reading it later. There's some phrase that it's were like saying. a, a uh, it's kind of like a bad luck type yeah, thing it's to an do. Omen. It. It's an yeah, omen. it's an omen. Yeah, yeah. But Woo! I was like, I passed. I didn't know before, but afterwards, I was like, oh fuck, okay. That's a sketchy omen, dude. Yeah, it, but there was. Ah, I wonder it's how, like you're leaving a piece of yourself to come back. Yeah, you're gonna come back and see it. Yeah, exactly. Oh. It was something like that. I'm like, okay, we ain't doing that again, you know. Dude, but, you're not going back there. Bro. No, fuck no, dude. We're not going wood. Dude, I'm on best behavior. I found though, you just. Just stay in your own lane, dude. You're, yeah. You know what I mean? 
Stay in your own lane. You don't Avoid get mad at people. Avoid the police, even if you're doing the right thing. Yeah, <laughs> you know I mean? exactly. You know, <laughs> even when they coming around, like, I was checking my Wi-Fi down by the river, and some people by the canyon called the police on me. And I'm literally, in, I'm in my Jeep just, I was like, yo, this is a nice place to, like, be by the river, right? And someone called the police and I got on the you. police called on me, bro. And I was like, he was like, oh, okay, I get it. But so still, I'm up. sitting there with my gun, everything on me. Yeah. He's just rolling. I'm like, yo, thank God I'm, like, sober, you Dude. know? But yeah, That's crazy you know, rich people though. The There's a lot of it. nosy rich people. They're like, this guy's sitting in the canyon. I'm like, bro, I'm checking my Wi Fi and yeah, looking at dude, a river. Minding your own you know? business. What could you possibly be doing? So, Wi Fi has been an issue in my life. So, yeah. it's been nice to be using the homies, you know. Uh, we like seeing Skylands. you, though. I love seeing you pop up. And well, I've been trying to post like snowboard videos yeah, this year dude, and stuff, you keep know. It going, like, man. That's what people want to see. Not like I've been posting a lot of raw shit, just a raw, just run. I saw the know? snowcat like, on there. Yeah, the snowcat's cool, you know, but I just like see it in my own head when I every time I go down, I'm like, fuck, this is I'm not even crossing tracks. It's so like Dude. this is mind boggling to me. Yeah, just I'm right not crossing talent. anybody's tracks and it you kinda like you know when you get all stony and you're at like when you're younger and you try and get your munchies at the seven eleven yeah. kinda like <laughs> fucking what's that movie? <laughs> with the how high where you just can't decide, you yeah. know? That's kinda how I feel like on an open run, like, like where you know, do I go? go? I can go left, right, what you kinda do? It's good, dude. I and, love it. And you got you get brought back up by the snowcat or snowmobiles? Yeah, uh, the snowcat. Depending, yeah. <laughs> so depending how they run it, he's got a snowcat that'll fit like ten people. But normally it's just me and the boss and a couple dudes. So there's a couple of you. In yeah, there. it's just a private mountain, bro. And it's like you know, dude, that is next. It's level. pretty crazy. It's dude. pretty fucking crazy. I'm I, like, I love it, bro. That's. That's really how I know cool. my mom's looking out for yeah. me and stuff. Because I'm like, how did I end up back in Utah? And how am I still, you know, now I'm working on a private ski ski ranch. Dude, you know, epic. And yeah, it's, it's like, pretty epic, bro. It's And you're this old jibber, too. That's what's cool. And then now well, here you are. Well, that's what everyone thinks, that I just only knew how to do rails. But, dude, I grew up riding Brighton and yeah. Park West, bro. Like, the only reason you don't see backcountry shit of me is because I was too lazy to go hike up the mountain. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, you only got a snowcat. Yeah, you yeah, you pull up to a rail and you just hop out and you ride two feet, ride it and leave. Like that was way <laughs> easier, bro. <laughs> but now I'm like, nah, dude. We're like, what was your favorite trip you went on <clears throat> when you were when you were shredding like hardcore? Hardcore shredding. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I I think. I don't know. If Japan, those Japan trips stick that out. That was back when they were like fanning out too, right? Yeah, that was back when we were singing it and that yeah. crazy shit went down that night with yeah. Jeffy. Rest in yeah, peace. Those, those yeah, those kind of trips. Rest in yeah. peace. Rest in peace, Jeffy Anderson. You're the best, homie. Dude, that's, uh, that was one of his boards over there. Oh, really? <laughs> How sick is that? Yeah, sick. <laughs> I had two of his boards. But he I did? Guess, I guess... The uh the dude from Salty Peaks, what's his name, Dennis? Yes. I guess he got all my old boards. He somehow. got your boards. Just like he's got my old collection of boards. Yeah. Did he buy but them? From no. Well, he somehow got them from my old lawyer that stole my house and all that shit. Did he buy them or did he? Just... I have no idea. Somehow yeah, I just dude. know he has them. Somehow my the, that bitch wonder, has... How do you know he wouldn't give them back to you? I just didn't even. I'm like I'm not. Yeah. Even, I'm not even gonna deal with it, dude. I'm, just, I'm like water under the bridge. And I want to give a shout out to one law, Jason Velez. We wouldn't be doing this interview if it wasn't for you, bro. Thank you. And of the GoFundMe. Everyone that hooked it up on the GoFundMe to get that lawyer shit. They, you, people came together. Yeah. And got you a lawyer. The first one, he handled it like kind of pro bono. And then the second one was just the, the last one. And uh, yeah. How much money was raised? It was 10 you grand. Know? But it was probably like 40 grand worth of shit. But he did it for 10. For you know? 10. Yeah. So we Dude. got the deal. Because he was, no one knows that he was the first investor in Bozrak back in the day. Really? He gave me and Maddie five grand to do boards, and we got them made. Remember when they were making those boards down at Miller yes. in Provo? Yeah. Those were our first boards over down there. But Damn, yeah, he's dude. a, so yeah, we've been on and off doing shit. You ever see him? Uh, last time I saw him was at court. Oh, yeah, he, he came out. Yeah. yeah, he was my lawyer. But yeah, I haven't seen him since then. Dude, I, I think that's a beautiful thing that the people came together. It was awesome because I thought I was fucked, bro. So th I love. I mean, there was dude. a big chance. Oh, one to fifteen years, bro. Wow. They were trying to say, and that was just for having a weed plant in my house. That wasn't for the gun shit. Damn. But it so was that, a CBD the gun plant. Shit was it wasn't up. even a weed plant. It was a CBD plant. But since I was on, it really was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Of course, bro. CBD plants. I only smoke CBD now. Me too, dude. Only CBD. <laughs> That's funny shit, dude. Yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of that old uh, 
there's like a line in Batman, and I think Jay Z put it in a in a in music, and then Tony Stark put it in his album. I don't even remember what the line, it? but it's about living long enough to become the villain. You know? Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's like <laughs> it's like oh, if, what you're, is that? if yeah. you're around long enough, you're gonna become you're gonna, the villain. You're gonna become the and villain. That's basically what happened. Here. <laughs> exactly, a hundred percent. I'm like, and, how am I the villain, dude? Degree. I was yeah. like, you know, we beat cases, we changed the law in the states, you know, like. But then you just viewed. But I get it, you know. Everyone needs to get theirs, and it's cool, you know. But for yeah. some reason, I'm always still around, bro. Like, did I'm you? A, you after, can't get rid of me. After that went down, and you're in the news, and you're in, you're, uh, you know, was, you're all over the news. You're in newspapers. I was laughing in jail, bro. I was like, yeah, dude, we're back. <laughs> back. <laughs> we're back. But did you get like I was, side-eyed from people and? Oh people, yeah, it was crazy. It was their... crazy. Oh yeah, because right when I got out of jail, I, that's when I was still drinking, and I went right to the bar on Main Street. And I'm, si- and I'm in there, yeah, I'm at O'Shucks just sitting there. And then I come on on the news while oh, I'm in no. there. And I was like, what? Everyone started cheering. I was like, what up? What the fuck are you cheered? Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. But so Damn. half the people are stoked and half the people are like, oh my God, we got to get this kid yeah, out of this, this town. Like someone wrote some article that like, I've, I've only read like the first couple lines, but I was like, bullshit. They made me out to be like I was some terrorist. Really? Or some shit. They're like, we need this kid out of town, blah, blah, blah. They wrote a full, like put it in print. Yeah, it's in print somewhere. I mean, it, just look up Nate Bozo on Fox News. And it was in know? the newspaper, and it they was, were like, we need him out of town. Yeah, it was some. It wasn't Fox. It was someone else. There's an article, but whatever. I mean, you know. Like, it was so whack, you didn't even read it. I didn't even read it. They, they made it look like I was hanging out the window with an AR having a standoff. And I'm like, bro, I was asleep. It was just crazy. That's actually, at first, I heard the story like that. Like, it's, yeah, no, it was I was such asleep. a different story was, than it really was. Dude, it was such a different yeah. story than what it really is, dude. I'm like... Bro, I was asleep. Yeah, the very first story was like you were basically in a shooting match. Yeah, you know eight hour I mean? standoff, yeah. f- hanging out the window with the AR. I was like, yeah. bro, dude, no. That's no. crazy how that happens, dude. What up, Cody? Shout out to Cody. You know. <laughs> shout out to that cop who recognized you. Yeah, this. no, not shout out to him, bro. <laughs> Fuck him. No, he should have like... got you out of there, dude. Yeah, I know, right? I mean,. We lucked out, bro. And we're That's the thing. Is here you are. You're we, here. You didn't we get lucked 15 out. Fifteen years, and I learned my lesson, and we're keeping it crispy. You know? And what is the lesson? Just keep it crispy. <laughs> keep it crispy. Twenty-four <laughs> crispy. seven, dude. Lesson is be a nice person. Yes. You know, be forgiving, be open-minded. Just be a nice person, dude. Do your thing, and it'll all work out. That's the <laughs> Don't fact, you hate it when dude. people say that? Yeah. Like, no, it's all gonna be better. Yeah, like, the fuck tomorrow up. it'll be fine. You're gonna be good. They are right though. You know, you they wake, are right. you wake up. The, you can panic all you want, but you wake up the next day and it's like the same thing. That's just, one thing I are. had to learn is like to not stress about shit you can't change. Yes. It's out of your hands. You know what I mean. You it's hope for like, the best, prepare for the worst. All you can do is go through the motions and do the handle, fall, do the handle. falling leaf of life, bro. Yeah. The best snowboard trick it. still to this day is the falling. Leaf. I told Kana is the falling leaf. I'm like, this is the most underrated trick, dude. The falling leaf. Just ding, 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 ding. It'll get you out of a lot of trouble. Oh, you're it got steeps, me out of trouble dude. just last week, dude. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yo, that's sick. Is there any danger for avalanches where you're at, or is it pretty no, chill? No, it's, it's it's pretty chill. It's not yeah. it's not enough vertical. There's one there's one maybe two spots. Yeah. But the homie he's just hired this uh, some ski patroller is gonna come up and look. And but like, he comes and, like, assesses. Well, he's going to come and assess it because they haven't done it. So this is all, like, in the beginning stages, yeah. right? So everything's still new. Like, he just took the runs for the first time the other day. Sick. So we weren't we weren't even sure if he was going to want to keep making the... But he's so stoked on it. We're going to keep doing it. Oh, and he could have shut it all down? Yeah, yeah, you know, and just done something else. But he hasn't you know? spent much money yet. Uh, he, yeah, he, oh, dropped, he, has? he dropped a pretty penny. Well, just sure. to get the land, I guess, huh? Well, pff, I, I, that's some billionaire shit, dude. I don't yeah. know. I mean, but, dude, that shit can't be cheap up there. No, dude, it's every, everything's so expensive these days. What's that zone? Uh, I mean, have you gone to the grocery store? Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> Kit Kat's like $2. Dude, bag of chips is like 8 bucks. Are you kidding me? It's had the most money I've ever had in 10 years, right? And I, it's just like, the, I'm like, where did it all go? And it all went to food. I dude. don't buy any any alcohol. Dog I don't food. do anything. Yeah. You know? Dude, imagine, yeah, if you're buying alcohol consistently, that's expensive shit. Yeah, dude. right, bro. Get out of here. But that's the thing in New York, it was all free because I was kind of like a Where promoter. there's expensive if you're living But there. if you know how to do it and you know the right people, everything's free. True. You know? So that, that was true. actually the easiest spot to be broke was there because... How know, long did you live in New York? On and off, 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. Damn, dude, you're like a New Yorker. No, city definitely kid. not. No, I love New York, dude. dude I love it to you, death. You but... in New York City and now you're living up in the sticks. Just... But, you know, that's you keep a gypsy. That's how it rolls, <laughs> you know? You're never in one spot too long. <laughs> 
So I don't know. I feel like you settled in in a pretty nice zone. I mean, it, it happened unintentionally, you know? Like, yeah. I was, had no, pl- but yeah, and I'm thankful for it. And I just like, you know what? Just work hard. And it, I liked work. And so, I mean, I work Here hard when people order like a hoodie or something. I love doing that. Dude. But it's not like pay, paying the bills like the old Jeff shit, yeah. you know? But Jeff. <laughs> so, <laughs> So we're getting close to two hours here. Yeah. I want to get and tell the people where where can we find your stuff. So I have my little online store. It's pretty much just so I can do customs for you. But if you want to just get normal prices, it's uh, Nathan Hale Bozong at Threadless.com. The goggles and the sunglasses are at DiamondDawnSunglasses.com. It's in the link in my bio on my on my Instagram at Bozrek. And, um, yeah, I mean, shit's How, out there. How's the custom shit work? Custom? It's like you pretty much, I just do like, one off. Is there a way they can, they basically send they, you a message? They hit me up on Instagram. It's just me. And I'll be like, yo, what's your size? And I'll kind of let them, because I have like probably 20 different graphics on, on my online store. And they store. can kind of pick a little you bit. You can pick and then I'll, I'll order it for you. So I get the money first so I can order it. Yeah. And then I. You got to order materials. Well, I order it with a hoodie already coming. So I used to put, I used to, so then I cut it, add this, sew on stitches, sometimes throw shit on the the inside of a hoodie. Yeah. I made all this. Yeah, so you have a neck gator in your hoodie. Yeah. Which is sick for where you're at. Where you're living. Oh, that's separate. Okay, that's in there. Dude, your hair is white, dude. Yeah, bro. That's fucking incredible, dude. Right? That is sick. Good, (laughs) good look. Yeah, it's right? slightly blondish too. You though. know, you know what the amigos were calling calling me? They what? were calling me Chupacabra this summer. <laughs> You're the Chupacabra. <laughs> they're like, yo, Chupacabra. <laughs> they're all filming me and sending it back to the but they're like, yo, Chupacabra. Dude, you got a very interesting look. Yeah, you know, well. Because your hair is not all white, it's a little blonde in there. It's yeah, it's a little crazy, dude. It's a little blonde, but all my forum, There's all no the dye. No dye. I haven't That's dyed my hair since I was seven, eighteen. That's completely natural. So my grandma was all white. At like 19, and I got I started going white at 16, so it's hereditary, but yeah, it's hereditary. So all my snowboard videos you see me with darker hair, it's because it's dyed. So oh, I used to, so I used you to, would have had lighter hair back then, yeah. I had kind of lighter hair, it's like a light sandy brownish, yeah. But now it's just like I don't know what it is, it's just there, dude. It's, you're a wizard, bro. <laughs> trying, bro. You look like a wizard, we're trying, <laughs> a wizard cowboy from dude, hell. The no. cowboy, dude, <laughs> Fucking. modern day shred cowboy over here. Well, they were the first gangsters. Of they were the first gangsters. Yeah. That is, that's a fact, dude. You know? That is a straight you fact. Know? They were gnarly, dude. Yeah, I've seen young guns. We're dude. not talking ranchers. We're talking cowboys. Ready yeah, later. Yeah. But now I'm a rancher. Dude, that, you get any cowboy, any horse riding going on up there? Nah. But in Idaho, we'll do it at my cousins yeah. and stuff. We grew up riding horses. But yeah, those cr- horses are crazy, dude. They're like on a different level. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I've heard, that's a whole different I I've, I've heard that they you get in with your horse it's like a connection if yeah, you really know what you're doing. Yeah. It's literally like the movie Avatar like you yeah. see, you think to go left and, and they'll they go left. It. Yeah. I didn't someone was telling me that like a year it's ago weird. I did not believe them. It's weird. Yeah. It is a name for it. Rehab, we had a little it's in rehab. <laughs> yeah, in rehab too. We had the you had you have a little session with the horse, you know. Yes. And they're like, "Oh yeah, you become did one of Did you uh was this in Utah? Yeah, I went to the Lindsay Lohan rehab, you know. Uh did Cirque. You, Fuck you, Cirque. Cirque, I've heard about that place. Yeah, I did it on my own, dude. Save your money. Good, just go camp. Yeah, that's true, dude. <laughs> Straight get up. someone to drop you off Straight and up. leave you Get there. dropped off in the woods, bro, and you'll be good, dude. I'll pick you up four Too months later. Too far from civilization? Just save a lot of money. Uh, the horse place you went to, was there a dude named like D or something that was running it's it? It's the same guy, yeah. That guy's incredible, It's an old dude. guy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be the I'm same dude. I'm sorry. That he dude. was the one that told me, make your bed every day, and you'll, your day will just be that much better. And I, I literally make it every day dude, since then. we started doing it, too. Yeah, it, it does. It makes your day a lot better. There's dude. something about it. Yeah, you make your bed. That's this is For all you guys out there, start making your bed. Start making your bed. You take, every day. Get one thing away from this, just make your bed every make day. Make your bed every day. And, you know, when you get back to it at the end of the night, it's like Oh, a, it's like coming into a, a hotel room. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, sick. And you it's know? just like you do that. You're starting your day right. You're yep. setting like you're setting foot the right in the right yeah. direction, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so let's let's leave it at that. Set your uh make your bed every day. Make your bed, never <laughs> stop dreaming. I love so, all y'all. So and for I, you, real quick, are you gonna keep making clothing then? Is that the keep plan? Keep making clothing. Shred I'm still clothing. gonna have some snowboards come out pretty soon too. Dude. Just, I'm just waiting to get some money up so I can get an order in. And what then. we gotta uh I mean, so, you just got to keep it alive, bro. Someone give keep me a loan going. out there, bro. I just need a loan, dude. <laughs> you need a head start, yeah, to keep so you give can get a, get a stack going. I'm good for it, bro. I mean, He's good for it. He'll sell you know? some shit. 
Yeah, we're, we're still trying to do stuff. Keep it in the, you know, get in the industry, do clothes, do boards, work hard, you Just know, whatever. Just keep making cool shit. Just keep busy, whatever it may be, and keep learning. Never well, stop learning. I know learning. that the community loves you. Everyone has your back, dude. And well, I love you all. Seeing you looking so good, dude, is awesome. Yeah, we're trying, bros. We're I like, trying, dude. I love your look right now. Thank you, you know? I was like, do I wear the hat? No, the hat yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. I was gonna dude. wear a beanie. I'm like, no, nah, we're gonna dress up no, a little bit. The we're gonna wear the hat. Look, yeah. We're gonna wear the hat. This is to your hat. <laughs> there we go, sir. Hey, thank you so much for coming by, Nate, dude. Yo, love you, dog. Mad love, homie. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for having me, dude. Look, yeah, Thanks dude. for having me. This was awesome, dude. Right on, mad people. love, y'all. Thank you. Yeah, Nate. Fuck yeah. That you. was dope, dude. That was tight. Make sure I spit it. <laughs> so good, my dog. So good, my dogs. You know what I mean? And that goes out to each and every one of me, 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 one of me.